Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. Let me just quickly finish this video. Take a welcome, welcome. We'll be doing good. Slide back the mod. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, there we go. I, a, 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 after yesterday? Man, I don't know. Okay. Anyways. I'm on the last episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. The game. Not, not the series. And damn, bro. Shit's getting intense. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I am genuinely excited. Hold on. Mm. Okay, bro, I've been hearing and they did they man yo, I can't believe I even noticed this when it first broke out. I can't believe I did not notice this when it first broke out. So remember when they were doing the whole uh, events where they were um, announcing Eddie and all that stuff? Right? When they were doing that type of announcement and shit like that? Tell me why they managed to slip it under a lot of our noses that they actually plan to have a battle pass for this game. This game is slick, I will say. This game is slick. Because they, they initially sold the game without any of these microtransactions, any of these battle passes, etc, etc. So that it could get high praise, high good reviews. Just for them to then slip underneath our noses the fact that, oh, now we're starting to add microtransactions. Now we're starting to add battle passes. Like they're actually going to add a battle pass for this game. And rightfully so, everybody's now complaining on Twitter about it. To say, really? You, you guys are scummy. Because in 2012, the creator of Tekken himself said, Oh, I don't want to make a game that's going to have uh, characters as DLC. Just re re what? Just introduce all characters as uh, part of the original game. Just for the games to start releasing characters as DLC. Starting from Tekken 7, moving forward. And now, Tekken 8's about to have a battle pass? Yeah, people are looking at this and they're like, uh, is Eddie in the battle pass? No, you can buy Eddie separately. But there will be a battle pass involved. Actually, now that you say that, I'm not sure if he's also going to be a battle pass. Let me actually look at that. Because if he's part of the battle pass, I'm not gonna, I'm dropping the game. I'm dropping the game. Uh, let's see. Tekken 8 announcement. No, that's for Eddie. Because I know they had a whole live stream for the event. Okay, just give me a quick second.
Uh, okay, so I'm uh, you use coins. What do you mean by coins? Oh, uh, how would you progress in the battle pass? You use coins. I don't know. They're they're gonna probably let us know when it's coming out. Uh, let's see. Let me just quit quickly turn on my fan. I have no idea. But somebody was like just sent me a voice note on WhatsApp and tried to explain why she understands why there's a battle pass. She was talking about like, oh, I think there is a um oh yeah, I understand why they're now starting to release more and more DLCs. It's because of uh it's costly to develop these games anymore. To be honest, I don't buy it. I tr I will tell you right now, I don't buy it. Considering how much of a commercial success Tekken 8 was on release, I don't buy it. I truly don't buy it. Plus, all these things, all these characters, could be you could have been added into the game. They didn't have to be DLC. You're just adding more work onto yourself in order to make more money. Uh, especially Tekken, it did really well and you're telling me they're struggling? Yeah, exactly, it's a cash grab. Like, Tekken 8 was a commercial success. An absolute commercial success. I don't buy it if you're gonna tell me, oh, it's so, uh, the developers can make money developing the game or making more characters for the game or some bullshit. I, I truly don't buy I can't buy it. I don't buy it. This is just Bandai Namco being greedy as always. Because they did it with JJK as well. Where literally the day of release, they decided to have um, paid DLC announced. Right? Tekken is also owned by Bandai Namco. So I'm not surprised that Bandai is behind this. I'm not surprised that Bandai is the one that decided to do this. They're cash grabbing. Luckily, they're unable to do it with From Software and Souls games. Hold on. But yeah, I, I just don't buy it. Tekken 8 was way too much of a commercial success. For you to tell me, oh, we don't have enough time to pay for developers. I don't buy it. The, the fact that they're also, what's this, DMCAing, like taking down, they're taking down people who are making mods for Tekken, right? Just not even like game changing mods, just like customization mods, like adding certain skins to certain characters. They're taking those people down, right? Reason why is because they're, I guess, interrupting the sales right because the game wants to release uh paid uh customizations and people can just realize that they can just mod that shit into the game and tekken doesn't like that so they decided to take them down I can't hear the video. My fault. I bet it's a bullet gonna get the last laugh. A little over a year ago, I made a video titled Harada Says Bandai Namco Executives Is Only Interested in Milking Tekken 8. At the time when I made this video, I was looking at a news article from IGN. We will cover that same news article, we will double back on it because it's also relevant now. But at the time, I was looking at everything and I was kind of optimistic. Harada is saying this, but it's Harada. Will he actually do this? Will Tekken 8 actually fall to just greed, over monetization, overprice, skins, battle pass, a shop? I was thinking like, no way. No way Harada will do that. We have examples of him in the past saying that he won't put legacy outfits in the game because he feels like he just want to do something new, something different. Like, what he was saying then was no, but what we got now is yes. Almost everywhere you look, players are upset with how Tekken 8 is being treated. After the Tekken talk when they announced the battle pass, I tweeted out, Harada says Bandai Namco executives are only interested in milking Tekken 8, and it's obvious now. I listed four examples. One, the overpriced Ultimate and Collector's Edition. This is this was like the first straw. We were already upset because it was so overpriced, and also, it was lacking in content. There was nothing there, yet they wanted you to pay $300, $200, $100. Like, at least give us the content. And then the other thing that I didn't like as well, and some people were celebrating this, 
Disney's, and I don't understand why, but me, I just can't get behind it. But if you pay for one of these I, I can't hear or something like that, you get access to the DLC three days early. Now think of it like this. If you were buying the Ultimate Edition for that sole reason, you were then paying $40 to get access to a character for three days early. Does that sound Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so he basically just let us know that with this thing, this whole uh, early access thing, early access is only available to the people that spent $90 for the game. Right, because remember the Ultimate Edition? So early access is only accessible, like Eddie is only accessible three days early for the people that paid for that. Which is kind of dumb, right? If I'm paying $90 for a game, $90 to $100 for a game, just so that I can access an, a character three days before everyone else. It's like, no, no, that's... that's <laughs> That's really what you spend ninety dollars for, I guess. Get access to the DLC three days early. Now think of it like this: if you were buying the Ultimate Edition for that sole reason, you were then paying forty dollars to get access to a character for three days early. Does that sound fair to you? You're basically paying ten dollars a character. That is the most greediest, predatory thing. I don't think three days is enough to learn a character. It isn't. I guess it's, an, it's long enough for people to get a feel for the character. That's why. That's why they care about it. It's that they can get a feeling for the character rather than to actually play the character, you feel me? To see if they want to learn him or not. And even then, I guess they're also doing it so that it wouldn't be unfair. Imagine, <laughs> imagine a situation like this, right? DLC releases three days early, th the people that pay extra money have access to Eddie three days early. Right, they learn, they master him, or whatever. Let's say they had him er early for like a week. They master Eddie, or they, they get really good with him. Then the DLC comes out for everybody else. You hop in, you don't know how Eddie fights because you just picked up the DLC. You jump into ranked and all you ever find are pro Eddie players because they had a week of practice ahead of you and you didn't have any time to learn the meta. Thing I ever seen in my life and the fact that they were trying to say during the tech talk oh you can um if you have the standard edition don't worry you can upgrade give us another forty dollars that's where that forty dollars come in up forty dollars to upgrade your Tekken nah they gotta be joking they actually have to be joking okay so let's see base game playable one year battle pass or battle, uh, playable character year one pass. So if you bought the deluxe edition, then that means all the DLC characters that come out this year are f given to you early. And they're also given to you. I don't think you have to pay on top of them. I hope. I hope. That means you don't have to pay. Because if I had to pay for the uh, deluxe edition, and then on top of that, I have to pay for the DLC character separate? Yeah, I'm not, that would be nasty. Upgrade your addition to the ultimate edition, and then boom, play the character for three days early. In my opinion, bro, it's scummy behavior. The third thing that I listed out is the selling of skins. Now, I honestly don't have a problem, or I didn't have a problem. The third thing that I listed out- Oh, they're selling new skins. Uh, this looks like a new Victor skin. New Yoshimitsu... Nina? No, who has their hair usually like Azucena? Yoshimitsu, Azucena, and the uh, Victor. Cyber Pack 0, uh, 0, 01 and 0, 02. A legacy costume for Yoshimitsu and the Eddie Gordo avatar skin. It's the selling of skins. Now, I honestly don't have a problem, or I didn't have a problem with this. I kind of foreseen that Tekken 8 would do this. Like, if you guys been following the uh, channel before the game came out, I called it. I called the Battle Pass as well. But what I don't like is that they're killing mods. They destroyed someone's channel. They almost destroyed another creator's channel. They hit more people. Like, it's chaos. They just have no regard for the community that made this game successful as well. Like, Tekken 7, yes, it was really hype. It was really fun. A lot of people say it's better. Tekken 7's better than Tekken 8, whatever. But the community is what be saving these fighting games. And now that they're saved, now that they're bigger than ever, they're kind of just saying screw all of you guys i felt they true i don't think video game companies understand how powerful the modding community is when it comes to making sure that a game is like popular and does well and all that stuff oh my god if mods don't exist for your game especially for the uh, pc versions if mods don't exist for your game your game is going to tank eventually Especially if you're going to spend a lot of time before the new installment of the game, most likely it's going to go down the toilet. Like, but people are, are not going to talk about it as much. Because people like to add a little, you know, a little spice to their game. Nobody just wants to play vanilla game forever. Like, look, 
Elden Ring is an amazing game. Don't get me wrong. I understand why it won Game of the Year. I truly do understand why it won Game of the Year. But that's also let, that's not a lie. Mods are also putting in a lot of heavy lifting for the game, right? Stuff like the uh, seamless co-op mod. Great because people love to play Elden Ring. They love the open world. They love PvP and PvE, uh, like or uh, whatever multiplayer. So seamless co-op is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Mods like the convergence, adding more content to the game for people who have already played the game more than once. For people who have already beaten the game of the new game plus uh, seven cycle, right? Where because seven is the highest scaling. That's when after seven, all the characters they don't scale higher than that, right? They're also acting on that, right? Game uh, mods like the Carrion Combo Warriors, adding more to the game. Guts Berserk mod. They're like there's so many mods that exist for Elden Ring that are really carrying weight and keeping the game alive until the DLC comes out. And even after the DLC comes out, there's still going to be modders keeping the game alive until we get the next From Software game. Same thing happens with Tekken 8, even if it's just a cosmetic thing. People want to spice, spice up their games, and they will keep doing that. Mods keep games alive. So if you're going to take down people who are in charge of your mods, trust me, you're trying to kill your game. You're trying to kill the community that are passionate of, enough to play around with your game and add mods to it. They killed mods because they were competing with the skins they wanted to sell in the store. And that is despicable, bro. It's despicable. And then the fourth thing, I kind of already touched on this, but customization that used to be free. And when I say free, I mean it's in Tekken 7 right now. It's in Tag 2 right now. Tekken 6, the base versions of those games. Idols was removed from those games and now it's being put into the Battle Pass. And it makes sense. Versions of those games. I mean, it's... Tekken 8 is still uh, is missing items that were available in past games. Wish the developers said whether or not they would add more items or whether or not they would go to the shop for customization. So I'm, I'm looking at the first picture right now. It looks like these are more hairstyles that could have been added to the game, right? There are more hairstyles in this game, in Tekken, uh, previous Tekken games. Even like side, you could add side hairstyles. So let's say you have like the main hair and then you could have like side hair. Hair on top of it, like hair attachments. Oh, wow. And then also back items. And uh, other cosmetics that you could add, like the swords, the guns, and stuff like that, knives. Wow. It's in Tekken 7 right now. It's in Tag 2 right now. Tekken 6, the base versions of those games. Idols was removed from those games, and now it's being put into the Battle Pass. And it makes sense, like, why Tekken 8 is so lacking in idols, because they really are trying to emphasize you to get the Battle Pass and get you into that mindset of spending money. Buying a Battle Pass, you're one step away from buying a skin or $40 a DLC. So I would just look at this whole situation that Tekken 8 is currently in, and it reminded me of this quote from Harada. Now, before we get to that, Harada and Michael Murray, they both blocked me for this. I am blocked by both of them. Wow, imagine being blocked by the two creators of the game. The two creators of Tekken. Because they gave out, uh, they gave a little criticism. Them. They didn't like the fact that I was using their own quote and comparing it to what they're doing and just saying this is this is a disaster, you know? Now let's shift over to the news article that I'm actually talking about. It was posted by IGN on December the 8th. The headline says, the full Game Awards trailer breakdown with Kitsu Harada. In this, he talked about a, a lot of things, right? It was a really, really cool news article. This is the first time Jun Kazama was announced, so he was talking about her re-inclusion into the story. Even though she didn't do anything in the, like the base version of the story, that was a head scratcher. Maybe she will have a bigger part in terms of story DLC, but in the base game, it seems like she should have had a big role. But staying on topic, when you get past all all of that stuff and you get down to the bottom there's a section that says get ready for the next battle obviously Tekken 8 still has a ways to go in terms of development process and while the trailer answered some of our questions it raised others we may have to wait for answers but what's clear is Rod's passion and love for the franchise and his sense of humor just on a personal note before we keep uh, reading this i am slowly losing respect for harada like i used to idolize him like oh harada he's a legend but now i'm kind of just yeah i'm not gonna lie harada sounds like he was a cool guy as well like very rarely do you hear about a developer of a game who interacts with their own series you know very rarely are you going to find a developer of a game who is so into his own franchise that he even participates in tournaments for them right i don't think the developers or the creators of street fighter are playing in street fighter tournaments mortal kombat right ed boon ed boon and noob uh cybot noob cybot but like ed boon and tobias they aren't playing in the tournaments harada is He's constantly interacting with his series, but now it seems like he's just becoming more greedy and corporate. 
you're starting to view him as a normal you know executive no different than fortnite or call of duty that's like they're all the same but it says if you're worried that june's appearance means that harada isn't thinking about throwing her son or anyone into a volcano think again the quote says the first people that came to our mind were perhaps certain executives at our company harada says they change quite frequently and some of them are only interested in obtaining the highest profits possible to further their careers and they have no regard for the development schedule and french timelines so many of them quickly flash into my head but if i had to think and if i had to pick a tekken character it's tough because most of them would probably survive if we look at past instances now this last paragraph isn't really related to the situation we'll double back to the second one but i do want to read it because of just how technique turns out it says if i had to pick one from a positive meaning it would be jen kazama because his father and grandfather each had their turn but he hasn't not to kill him or anything but to force him to go to the next level to be a better version of himself i think throwing him into a volcano would help with that i do like the foreshadowing in that third paragraph and it kind of prepares us for the journey that jen goes through throughout Tekken 8 but focusing on the part there where he says that the executives are only interested in obtaining the highest profits possible to further their careers because this is the thing right in bandai namco and Tekken 8, what they're doing is not new. Uh, selling skins, this is something Fortnite popularized and every other game was consumed by. A battle pass, same thing. I believe one of the first fighting games to ever include a battle pass was Multiverses. And when they did that, a lot of people were instantly sold, but some people was like, hold on, I don't like where this is uh, going, right? And now you can see the same thing happening for the executives. And it sucks here because in this news article, right, at the time when I made the video uh, a year ago, I was looking at what Harada is saying and he was kind of sounding like he was trying to push back against it. He was like, ah, these executives coming in here trying to tell me what to do and put all this stuff into the game. But it's, and it seemed like he wasn't having it. But fast forward a year later, and it's everywhere the game is absolutely consumed by monetization and at first i really i wasn't really bothered you know i know they have to make money off the game they said they want to reinvest it into the game and that's cool you know if you want to reinvest if you look at tekken 7 they did do that tekken 7 they sold leroy fucking Rom, busted dlc characters but then they turned that into better visuals better sounds better designs better characters they they did reinvest a lot of it when creating tekken 8 and you can even say that for the free story dlc that's coming mortal kombat doesn't do free story dlc i, I don't know any games that really do free story dlc so they reinvest free story dlc God of War Ragnarok, right? Because the Valhalla DLC was free. Which, again, amen to them for that. Honestly, amen to them for that. The fact that they decided to say, hey, DLC's on us. We spend, I think they spent like, what, a year? Almost a year since God of War Ragnarok's release. And they were like, you know what? Yeah, we've been working for a while. Yeah, we've been working on, on rehiring the voice actors for dialogue and all that stuff. It's not just skins, right? Yeah, we've, uh, we've had new character models, we've had new skins, we had to hire voice actors and all that stuff. Like all the cahoots and the, the shebang, right? When it came, comes to making a DLC. They said all of that and then they said, but it's free though. Like shout out to Santa Monica Studios for that shit. Honestly, shout out to them for doing all that work and then saying, here's a free DLC. With Elden Ring, I understand why it's about to be a $40 DLC. I understand. Because it's not just a DLC, it's an expansion pack. Right, that's what Miles Morales was supposed to be. Where Miles Morales was supposed to be part of the, oh, it was supposed to be an expansion pack for Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man 2018. But then the file game, or the game became so large that they had to make it its own separate game. From Software said, no, we're not doing that. We're not making an Elden Ring 2. We're going to have a file this large, it's going to be filled with this much content, but it's still going to be a DLC. I can understand. They spent like, what, a year, two years making this DLC? I understand why they were going to make it $40. Tekken has no excuse to be doing that. I'm sorry, Tekken does not have the excuse to be making a, a battle pass and have a, have a $40 deluxe edition. A $40 on top of that for deluxe edition, no. Sorry. Some of it, but at the same time, when you're putting this much into the game, there is no realistic way where you can reinvest all of it. Once again, everything that I can remember Tekken 8 doing is overpriced Ultimate Collector's Edition, charging $40 to pay DLC three days early, selling scans and then killing competing mods, and then items that used to be free in past games locked behind uh, the Battle Pass. Like, all of that is completely unnecessary. So, basically, at this point, the Battle Pass is only going to be about cosmetics. It's not even going to be about, like, anything actually, like, oh, new characters or anything like that. It's just going to be cosmetics. Which, if that's the case, I'm fine with it because I know I wouldn't pay for it. Although, it does suck being limited to say, oh, you can't have uh, certain customizations. Like, oh, for example, imagine, like, they added one of the mods that exists where you're allowed to paint the nails of the characters, right? Like, the female characters and stuff like that to any color that you want so that it fits the aesthetic. Imagine them saying, oh, by the way... You're going to have to pay DLC for that. You're going to have to pay Battle Pass just to have the ability to paint the female character's nails. 
Like, you know, shit like that would right. suck. They're just trying to milk this game dry. It's, it's honestly despicable because Tekken 7 didn't really need to do that. Tekken 7 was the best-selling Tekken ever. And they did that by just making the game very, very good. Um, They didn't have all of this stuff around it. And yes, DLC was very obnoxious, but they weren't really, like, adding all of these extra elements to it to suck the play. Plus, look, and oh, look, I understand. No, no, I don't understand. I will say Tekken 8 doesn't really have a reason to be doing all of this. Right? Because it's getting good praises. Like, people are already considering it the best fighting game out of the three games that have come out as of recent. Right? Probably even the last four games. Right? If we consider... No, Guilty Gear Strive came out quite a while ago. I think it came out 2020. But, like, if we consider games like Guilty Gear Strive, Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 1, and Tekken 8. People consider Tekken 8 the best out of all of those. All of those games. So you already have all the eyes on you. You have all the attention. You have the commercial success. So you're gonna lose all that if you decide to have a battle pass. I'm sorry. That's just that's just the case. You're gonna lose all of that if you if you let greed take over. Player out of everything, but for Tekken 8, it seems like that's their primary goal. Going around, I can't emphasize this enough, but going around and taking down entire channels because they're uploading mods is crazy, bro. During the whole entire Tekken talk, they didn't even say anything about it, and instead they only announced the battle pass. You know, so it just kind of. Oh yeah, speaking of which, with the whole mod story, if you're not familiar with it, so there was a guy who was making mods for uh, Tekken 8, right? He wanted to add some old legacy skins, so I um outfits from the previous games into Tekken 8. Actually, I'm not even sure about that one. But I know he was making mods for Tekken 8, right? And mind you, the mods weren't even out. These mods were still in development. All he was doing was showing them off on his channel. All he was doing was literally just showing them off to say, Hey, look, this is what I've done while modding the game. And they struck his channel. Like his channel actually got deleted because of it. He didn't even release it. It wasn't open access even. Right? It wasn't paid for, wasn't open access, it was just like, hey, look at what I did. And he got, that, uh, he's got his channel happen. taken Honestly, down. I don't see them turn it back, you know? Regardless of me complaining, you guys complaining, you have to understand that the casual audience eats this stuff up. They will, uh, it's called whales, and some of them aren't even whales, some of them just like buy something here and there. But whenever a game company do this, they get a ton of backlash, they get a ton of hate. But at the same time, they break record profits. Call of Duty, which Tekken 8 is kind of copying, they do it all the time. They, they get more and more greedy, and everyone gets more and more angry. But then when you look at their profits, they make a billion dollars, two billion dollars, most successful selling game ever. That's what Tekken 8 is trying to strive towards. They see what all of these different games are doing and they say hey we want in on that um it was interesting to see how optimistic i was a year ago when i made the first video even though the evidence was right in front of our eyes and then too you fast forward now and you just see everything that they're doing it's like it's kind of disappointing uh, let's see what is up, Budget family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful day. It is Friday. The weekend is here. We done made it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Chapters down below if you guys want to skip around. And of course, that sub button right there, as always. Look, we got some new reveals, right? Some new trailers that just released, I want to say, a couple hours ago. FTC's losing their damn mind, but you got a couple different perspectives. Okay. Some people happy, some people miserable. So either way, we're about to check all these buttons. Let's go. All right, now into the first set of Tekken 8. We got Eddie Gordo. He is here. We got mixed reactions, but nonetheless, he is here. This is my first time watching this. I promise. Let's go. Here we go, y'all. Give me something, Bandai. Now, I know people are already talking about. His, uh, his design, especially his hairstyle. We'll get that, you know, towards the end. Here we go. We'll see if I fear. Like, I'm not gonna lie. When Eddie comes out, Eddie is the only thing that I'm looking forward to with this game moving forward. Like, if any other character comes out, I truly don't care, right? It could be legacy characters from previous older Tekken games. I honestly wouldn't care. Eddie is the only person I was interested in. He's the only reason that I got the game. He's the only reason why I got Tekken 8. It was for Eddie and because I was like, you guys were playing the game. But it was mainly for Eddie. I was like, Eddie and Leroy. And since Leroy is ass and he's constantly getting nerfed, Eddie's my only hope for this game. And if Eddie is also low tier, I'm not gonna lie, I'm dropping the game. I'm deleting it. I'm good off that. Come on. New challenger. It's crazy how much he looks like Doc Hammond. It's crazy. Like, Capoeira is the only reason why I'm interested. I feel like, I wonder if there's gonna be a skin for Eddie in this game, like they did with um, Eddie in every other Tekken game, where he had a customizable skin that would turn him into Christina Montero. Uh... Hmm. 
Hmm? Oh, I, I, I spelt it wrong. Christy. Yeah. So, I wonder if they're gonna do what they did with the previous games. With, uh, where what they would do is they would have Eddie as the main character. And then you could have a skin that would turn Eddie into Christy. And vice versa. Where in Tekken 5, Christy was the main character. Right? She was the main capoeira fighter in the game. But if you went to the customizable store uh, in the game, you could turn Christy into Eddie. I truly hope that's going to be the case. If not, most likely there's going to be a mod that's going to turn Christy into Eddie. Or Eddie into Christy. And to be honest, I will get that mod. Because I still fuck with Christy. Even after all this time, I'll fuck with my baby girl Christy. She, my, she was one of my first ever video game crushes. Of course I'd mod the game to add her. Damn! Damn! What a little head spin! Come on! Oh shit! Damn! Okay, I like that. Okay, so that's his heat smash. It's game over. No, it's not. And what's nice about Eddie? What seems to be nice about Eddie here is that once he's in his stance, while well, once he's upside down in the stance, he's still able to block neutral. Right, so it's not like uh, Leroy, while he's standing still, he can't block shit. Except for low hits. Apparently, I learned yesterday that if I stand still, Leroy can parry. He parries every single low attack while he's in the hermit stance. Which I need to test out. I need to see that for sure. Um, but yeah. Ooh, right in your abdomen. Okay. Set your ass on fire and still kick you like a damn ball. I don't know what the frames are gonna be Damn. for his attacks. Time to make it count. Ooh. Oh shit! What did he just summon? I love that. I love that rage art so much. Where he hits you and then he summons like I guess the spirits of Capoeira. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. But he summons the spirits of Capoeira and he gets you involved in a Capoeira dance circle. So now everybody's like playing beats and playing uh, the music, the typical Capoeira music. And you basically start dancing in the circle, being all aggressive, martial arts and stuff. I love that. I, I really do like what they did with the rage art there. And it's pretty cool that now Eddie's, for the first time in a while, actually speaking Portuguese. It's pretty cool that for the first time in a while, he's actually speaking speaking Portuguese. I'm sorry, I'm jamming this right here. That's how you do it. April 1st, early release, official date April 4th. Uh-oh. Default, default 3. Default 4, okay. Season 1, playable characters. There you go, look, and we get into some of these reactions right here. The fact that they're using this Tekken Tag theme has me so hyped, right? Others are like, his rage art looks like he summons a few of those background NPCs from his Tekken Tag one stage. That's what I was thinking, right? Like, who the hell is he summoning? And yeah, it looks like he summoned ancestors for this. Hold on, let me see if I can find... Yeah, here it is. This is basically what he summons when he's in the, um, uh, involved in the rage art. So they get into the mood, in the mood, they get into the music, just Brazilian music, and then he starts fighting you in the rage art. Yeah, you see, having this as a rage, bro, I want to learn Capoeira so bad. She look, oh, she's looking to dance in. And then they switch partners. Oh, okay. Guaranteed. Who the fuck is using the camera? Guaranteed, bro. When I use Eddie every single time I hop into a game, I'm turning on that Capoeira music. I'm turning on that Brazilian jam. Just to, you know, get into the mood. And Guy went and summoned his ancestors to hype him up while he kicks your ass. That is so metal. That's what's up. Look, all I know is the beat had me like this. I'm doing this the most. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm in the club or some shit. Like back in my old days. You know what I'm saying? But besides the jamming part, I, 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 yeah, it's Eddie Gordo. You know what I'm saying? Not one of my personal favorite characters, but then again, I'm not that Tekken main. You know what I'm saying? You already know about watching this channel. I don't play Tekken a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Tekken 8, I think, is probably the best version of the game so far. Just for me. You know what I'm saying? Just for now. But 
As far as Eddie Gordo, yeah, not a character that I lean to too much. Um, I can see why people like him. Um, I do think it was cool that he summoned his ancestors or whoever the hell that was, why he could whoop your ass, you know what I'm saying? And the beat was jamming. But let's also talk about that hairstyle. What to do about that Killmonger hairstyle, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, this happened a long time ago where they felt like that hairstyle was oversaturated, overused, and just cookie cutter when it came to black characters in video games, right? You saw people talking about it a lot. Um, you saw people talking about it today, right? Somebody posted this saying, stop it. <laughs> oh yeah, also I hope, I hope, I pray, I pray. I genuinely pray that when you're in the Tekken store, let's say you buy Eddie and you're in the Tekken store, please, 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 let me default to his old hairstyle. Let me allow, give me the ability in the hairstyle of the customization to have his old hairstyle there. Because if you're going to do that and have it be a, a battle pass hairstyle, with the hairstyle, you see this um, Michael Jordan, obviously the meme and whatnot. Others like the hairstyle again. Um, I even see this meme right here. I think it's a TikTok that somebody posted uh, saying, of course they gave Eddie Gordo the Killmonger hairstyle in Tekken 8. I swear that developers go to the hairstyle for black characters now. Stop being lazy and do something different. And they post this, check it out. More black fictional characters with that hairstyle than there are in real life. No, there is. Yes, there's. Prince of Persia, League of Legends, the default black guy in Power World, Apex Legends, name some who actually exists. I mean, there's like this one creator I call on YouTube. Killmonger never really was the villain. It's that damn hairstyle thing over like Frank's red hot sauce. They just put that shit on everything. And then from there, I even saw this on Reddit a while back where somebody was like, there's nothing here. <laughs> there are more people. Uh, yo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Who do you main? Currently, I main Leroy. <laughs> I know, weird. I main Leroy for now. Until Eddie comes out. Because I've, I've been wanting to main Eddie since I got the game. Actually, even before I got the game. I bought the game with the sole purpose of maining Eddie. Um, but then he's DLC, so I have to wait for him to come out. Till then, I'll use Leroy. ...wrong with the hairstyle. It's just that at this point, it's so common and uncreative. Killmonger really did a number on the black hair design. Then they got this tweet right here saying, there's no way these game devs haven't seen the criticism. It's like they're taking the piss at this point. And they're commenting below on the Fighting Games Daily post where it says, it's Joe Ever, Tekken has fallen, Eddie Gordo has that overused braided haircut. But I will say this, I have noticed this, although a lot of people are saying it's overdone or overused, and that other meme, that TikTok, right, said, there's more people that have that style in video games than have that style in real life. I do disagree on one point because I know one individual that has had that style first, right? And his name is Dr. African. And he even posted this a while ago, right? Saying, okay, it's not funny anymore. It literally looks like they designed this character right off, <laughs> right after my man, the doctor. Yeah, right? I don't know. What they need to do, for sure, and I'm pretty sure they understand this at this point. They need to stop giving, like, all the black characters in the game that Killmonger hairstyle. It's like, I swear, once your character is in a certain age demographic, kind of like, what, 17? 17 to, like, third, no. 17 to like 30 to 40 somewhere around there if you fall within that age age range they are more likely to give you the killmonger haircut i don't know why i truly don't know why it's like they saw how popular it was on killmonger they saw other characters using it like i do you know what i think what happened i think when the character first came out or the first character with the killmonger haircut came out it was like yo great this is amazing we finally have good black hairstyles for the video game it's no longer these weird high tops right it's no longer these these blocky uh hairstyles because these game devs don't know how to design black hair now we finally have like hair representation then every game company was like oh oh bet and just gave everyone that haircut it was like oh that they were praising those guys let's get that praise as well not understanding how now oversaturated it is. Now everybody wants other black hairstyles. They want these ones. They want the regular ones that had uh, that Eddie had. Where it was like again, it was still dreads, but they were tied up. The the hairstyles that Leroy had, uh, high fades, waves. You know, everybody wants different haircuts for black characters. We don't just want this, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, who do you main in Tekken? Because I just saw the the message that said respect. Who do you mean in second? You can see him in these pictures. And Doc, I don't know why you gotta be acting like a model. Why you, why you gotta be all trying to be sexy? Why can't you just take a picture? Then Doc wanna go post kickboxing shit like he tough and all that shit? Come on, man. We all know. Listen, if y'all don't know, I met Doc Daff when he was this. I used to bounce him on my knee when I first met Doc, the Doc back in the day in um, daycare. You know what I'm saying? Took him under my wing. I mean Steve, I but he's pretty fly, hard, but he's fun. Yeah, I heard that Steve got nerfed. I wouldn't even say he got nerfed. Tekken 7 to Tekken 8. It's more like his fighting style didn't really translate well into the new change of pace for the game right because like for example same thing with leroy leroy is entirely a defensive character right he's not really a rush down which is unfortunate because this game has now prioritized 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 rush down over everything else so you're kind of expected to constantly be in the enemy's face constantly attacking and all that stuff but with steve steve does have a lot of defensive mechanisms with him 
and it doesn't translate well into a game that constantly forces you to be in the enemy's face. Trust me, as a Leroy main, I know that firsthand the difficulties of fighting somebody overly aggressive, like fighting Jin. Fighting Jin, Lars, Fang when he's in heat, Kazuya sometimes, because Kazuya's health sweep is just yikes. Uh, Dragonoff, Brian, like fighting certain characters where they're just so aggressive and you don't have room to breathe as a Leroy because every move that you throw out is minus on, is minus on block. So I understand that, uh, I heard that it's very difficult to use Steve in Tekken 8 as it was compared to Tekken 7. Smack him, you know what I'm saying? Smack him in the face, throw him, you know what I'm saying? It's big brother shit. It's, we do big brother shit, you know what I'm saying? He is uh, about, you know, three feet taller than me and 100 pounds heavier with muscle, but it's, it's I'm the big brother, you know, so I whooped I whoop that ass. Or like the, um, I guess the superhero shooter game, you know what I'm saying? Just okay, uh, I want to see what... I hope you can hear them. I can. I just... Bro, Harada has had the same look for... <laughs> He's had the same look, same hairstyle, same glasses, same everything. He's had the same look for nearly 10... Yo, when I say 10 years now, that, like, 2014? Yeah. Yeah, he's had the same hairstyle since, like, almost 2012 now. Kind of crazy he's never changed up. Uh, let me see. I want to see what they decided to add for these battle passes. Account suspension March 28th. Accounts involved in unauthorized activities in Tekken 8 have been issued bans ranging from temporary to indefinite. Four, intentional disconnects, so rage quitting is now getting, uh, you getting banned for that. Cheating and glitching, which most likely is in, um, reference to that one Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Actually, I haven't showed you guys that Yoshimitsu, hold on. While, while I look for that one. Uh, let's see, rank boosting, I'm pretty sure for the longest time the number one player in Tekken was a rank booster, which... Okay, good they took care of that. Inappropriate in-game or chat behavior, customizations, and usernames. So I guess all the Brian Furies that had the Hitler skin <laughs> might have gotten banned. Which, surprising? Not really. Not really. Hold on. Alright, I'll, I'll show... I'll show you the Yoshimitsu... The Yoshimitsu hack that has been going around. And let me close this one. So apparently somebody called the Hat Man. I don't know if he's been banned yet. But he's been going around Tekken 8. Modding the game. And glitching it to where he overinflated the size of his Yoshimitsu's hat. To the point that it like covers the entire model of the character. So you can't see what movie he's going to do next. So he basically uh, played it into his favor. It's hilarious to look at, but it's it looks frustrating to go up against. Because you can't really predict what's the next move. You don't know what grab is going to come out, because I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know how long you guys have been playing Tekken. Uh, when you grab, you can tell what type of grab it is and thus tell what uh, way to break out of it by seeing what arms come out. So if it's a two-hand grab, if the grab comes out like this, you can usually break out of it by pressing one or two, which is square or triangle, or X and Y. I don't know what you play Tekken on. That is what it is. I play with uh, PlayStation buttons, right? So if you see somebody reaching out with two hands, you can break out of the grab with one or two, or square or triangle. And if they throw grab, like try to grab you with one hand, then you break out of it by pressing um, square and triangle at the same time, or with, which for me is R1. Right? But you won't be able to tell with this mod on because he's hidden. He's conveyed. Yeah, that's why his name is the Hat Man? Yeah, for sure. Although, mind you, I'm letting you know this right now. With the, the, the grabs and stuff like that, with the one hand, the two hand grabs, there are exceptions, right? If you're fighting a character like um, Azucena, if you're fighting uh, Dragonov, I think King as well, they are also kind of mixed up, where not all the time, when they throw out two hands, doesn't mean you can break out of it with the conventional square or triangle. 
Sometimes they will grab you and you can only break out of it with an R1 even if it's two hands. But with every other character in the game, if you see them throw one hand out, break out of it with square and triangle. And if they throw both hands out, then you break out of it with square or triangle. It's so fortunate that this is a Yoshimitsu that he's going up against for the specific reason that you can still see the sword poking out of the hat. So I guess, I guess it would be slightly easier to understand what moves would come out, although it's still very difficult. If this was a character like Fang, if it was a character like Fang, Dragonoff, King, Ryu, not, not Ryu, <laughs> what? Ryu, Jin or Kazuya. It would definitely be much easier, or much harder, to tell what move is going to come out. Like, any character that is, like, close with their hands to their body when fighting would definitely be much harder to tell what move is going to come out next. Especially characters that also have like low grabs, like Azucena, King, and uh, Dragonov. Which bothers me to this day, that Azucena's low grab, the one where she like dives at your foot on the floor, it bothers me so much to know that that move is unbreakable. You can't throw break out of it. So if you get grabbed by it, you're grabbed by it. There's no way to break out of it. Which is unfortunate. There should be a way to break out of it. Like, I'm gonna get punished for being a close range fighter. Like, alright, I guess. Especially because I'm Leroy, what can I do? What can I do? I can't long range that shit. But yeah, that's the, the hacking that they're talking about. Yeah. See, what else are they planning to change? Slap on the wrist and hey, you need to improve your behavior. Uh, we've already seen Tekken suspensions. I'm so curious how this battle pass is going to end up looking like. Oh, character adjustments? So these ones were um, the buffs and the nerfs that happened to the game. Unfortunately, uh, Leroy did get nerfed. He got one nerf and two buffs. Which is cool, I'm glad, but honestly the buff that he got wasn't even an actual buff. Wait, one of the buffs that he got wasn't an actual buff. Because apparently, until update 103, uh, <laughs> out of every character in the game, Leroy was the only character whose rage art could get parried. Right? Every other rage art would go through parries, except for Leroy's. So if Asuka decided to do her weird parry move, Leroy is the only character who, if he threw out a Rage Art, would get parried until this update. Why they decided to do that? I guess fuck Leroy, right? Nerf Leroy. Um, so that's one of the things that they fixed to where his rate, uh, Heat Smash would go through. Counter hit. Uh, go through all that stuff. Oh, they're removing that! Wait, what are they removing? You could say, um, uh, to be a little bit more uh, forgiving for uh, when it hits on a counter hit. <laughs> so. The Nakatsu just mentioned that um, although or this would, would that the be stupid? April 2nd one, uh, one of the uh, maybe updates after that, uh, he plans to uh, change the throw escapes window, I guess you could say, um, uh, to be a little bit more uh, forgiving for uh, when it hits on a counter hit. Hi. Oh, they're removing that! Oh, yeah, okay. I'm assuming this means, and I think we looked at it previously, where it's like, oh, Whenever somebody would throw out an attack at you, you could grab them out of it while the attack is still coming at you. So I'm assuming they're changing that to have it be more forgiving. So let's say I th accidentally throw out an attack and somebody grabs me while that attack is still coming out. I have a little bit more of a escape window to get out of it. Bye. Which, That's good. Goodbye, so king, and my sweet heels. prince. Ra ra ra. So, uh, let's <laughs> check out some actual in-game footage from the Oh, let's look at actual uh, in-game uh, examples uh, of this. He's going to be playing from the, the build today. 
、はいえー、と1つ目がですね、えー、とステージギミックを選んだコンボが、oh. まあ、想定以上にダメージが高かったり、まあ、ががったりコンボが長くなっていたっていうものが。ステージギミックは超、so えー、強い。1つはダウン状態に対して。おいや、いや、ステージギミックは、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、Are the side ones, the explosion ones, the one that you can find in the very like deep catacomb treasure area of this map, and also the one that you can find in that one very cramped building where it looks like it's in the middle of like a war zone. The one you know, the ones that have the explosions, right? Also, the one in the arena that has the explosions, the ones that blow you up and then allow for another chain combo. I hate those ones so much. Do you think the TNT stage, the red one, will be banned in tournaments? That's what I think. It might be. It's fine. Dude, that stage is a joke. That stage is a joke for stages are random. All、oh, right, that's how they get around it. But dude, it's still a joke. That stage, it's a joke. Okay, can we go in English now, please? <laughs> can we go in English? It's almost like this when I need to really brush up on my Japanese. Because really, the Japanese I know is subpar. <laughs> I can read it. I can write it. I can't translate what this guy is saying, though. How damage scaled was it not as intended? So sometimes when you slam the opponent to the ground, or some other times when stage gimmicks kind of come into effect, he was particularly mentioning with Devil Jin when you're doing a. The battle's a bug. It resets the, the combo <laughs> distance when he does Thunder God Fist after a beat dash in a combo. Like Heaven's Door, when you're doing an attack on an opponent who's in a down state,、uh, the damage was、uh, a bit more than we'd actually intended because it wasn't scaling properly. So、uh, the, the one he just showed you、uh, was what he's talking about. And so the damage、oh, is going to scale、uh, properly、uh, when we fix this. Oh, we're going to nerf the damage on that as well. Okay, so they're nerfing Devil Jin. I think we've already heard about the nerf for Devil Jin. I think they also decided to nerf Azucena's、um, sprint move. You know, the, her forward forward 3 4? No, it's her forward forward 3 2. Or forward forward X triangle move. The, the knee twist. The knee elbow move. They decided to nerf that one. Apparently, now, if the first knee doesn't land, the second elbow won't hit. It'll whiff completely. Or if the first move whiffs, the second move won't come out. Yeah, if the knee misses, then the elbow doesn't come out.、Uh, let's see. Okay. So. Let's see, character usage in all online modes. Wow, okay. And then character usage in ranking and ranked matches only higher above Tekken God. Okay, so now we have like the most common used. Hold on. Go to the bottom. A little bit about what's going on with all these lines. I want to screenshot this. So to the bottom. Okay, so it seems like in ranked matches, like intermediate, beginner to intermediate. Semi pro, right? Because this is like below Tekken God. Seems like the most used characters are Reyna, King, Jin, Dragonoff, h u a r e I'm not surprised. Reyna, I'm not surprised. King, I'm not surprised. He's the strongest he's ever been in every Tekken game. Jin, of course, understandable because Jin is plus on every attack, he's plus on block for almost every attack except for that backflip kick that he does. The one where he like、um, uppercuts and then he flies and lands, that one is minus. And also, one of his low kicks is also minus. But for the most part, most of his regular moves are plus on block, so understandable why he's going to be third used. Dragonoff, understandable because he's a carried character. I'm not even surprised there. h u a r e n g because he's also carried, he's scummy. Kazuya, not surprised. Victor, in, Victor being all the way in number seven is slightly surprising. But not as surprising for, again, this is beginner to intermediate, right? So understandable. Azucena being eighth, understandable.、Um, Jin Kazama, ninth place. 
considering all the moves that she has that she's afforded, surprised. I would have expected Jin to be replaced with Devil Jin. I would have expected Devil Jin to pop up in ninth place because I have fought way too many Devil Jins in ranked mode. Way too many of them. And then Steve Fox being 10th place. Bro, I'm surprised. Seeing Steve Fox above Brian Fury actually blows my mind. I am surprised to see that. I am surprised to see that at all. That's amazing. That's interesting. Brian Fury being 11th. Martial Law being 12th. Yoshimitsu being 13th and 14th being... Um... Lily. Okay... Panda is the least used character in the game. Justice for my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Panda is the least used character for intermediates, from beginner to intermediates, and she's also the least used in the professionals. Leroy is the second least used character from Tekken God and above. Yeah, because I understand because my character is shit. And he's in the one, two, three, four. He's in the bottom five characters for beginner to intermediate. I bet I'm one of the reasons why he's... <laughs> I bet. I guarantee I'm one of the only reasons why he's here. I've only fought like three Leroy's aside from myself. I don't see Leroy's like that. So I guarantee that it's me and Leroy, that, me and those other Leroy's, that, why they're here. Seeing Shaheen so low, I understand nobody uses Shaheen. Zafina, also kind of understandable. Um, yeah, I understand those ones. Okay, so pro players. This is Tekken God and above. Number one, Dragonoff. Understandable, carried character. Number two, Azucena. She's really good, I understand. I'm slowly starting to understand the matchup with, uh, with Azucena. Uh, number three, Victor. I'm not surprised at all. Victor is really powerful. Especially back then when he had that nigh unbreakable grab. You know the one where he'd grab you, throw you up, and knock you down? Um, because that had like a four frame escape window. So I understand why Victor was so high ranked. Uh, they decided to nerf that move, thank god. They extended the escape window for that move. But the fact that it was there in the first place is already a bit of a pro it's a bit of a problem. So I understand why he was top three. And uh, Reyna, number four. Okay, Fang number five, which is understandable because Fang is actually broken. Fang and he people don't understand how broken Fang is until you fight a pro player. Then you understand how dangerous of a, a character he is. Uh, let's see, number 6 is Jin. From 3rd place to 6 is kind of crazy. Uh, number 7 is Lily. From number 14 to 7, wow. Devil Jin finally makes it into the top 10. Which, like I said, I'm surprised that Jin Kazama was over Devil Jin. Because, uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of Devil Jins, and Devil Jin's pretty... Mind you, my ranking is Garyu, and I've seen a lot of Devil Jins. I've seen more Devil Jins than I've seen Jin Kazamas. Um, so yeah, Huarang being knocked down from 5th place to ninth. I understand, because the more you fight Huarang, the more you realize how vulnerable he is, right? A lot of his moves have a very open, very wide startup frames, and the only thing that really makes Huarang a, a threat is his sidesteps and his low kicks, but once you have his low kicks figured out, and you're able to have moves that have tracking for his sidesteps, he becomes a pretty less threatening character so i understand why you got knocked from fifth to ninth place jin kazama from ninth to tenth not bad not bad at all nina in 11th place understandable but yeah 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 nina's a threat he's she's a threat even in like beginner rounds she's a threat just people don't want to get to know how to use her in earlier games that's why you don't see her as often but she's still dangerous uh king being knocked from second place all the way to 12th is crazy considering the damage that he does but I guess it's also understandable because a lot of people are starting to learn King counterplay they're learning how to tech his grabs they're learning how to break out of his grabs they knowing what moves lead into what moves they know how the average King player thinks to say oh it's most likely that this King is going to grab right after this move and now King is getting punished more for it so I kind of understand why he's being used less. Still surprised that he's getting knocked 10 rankings down below. Right? I'm still surprised. 
Steve Fox moving from 10 to 13. Okay, it is what it is. And then Lars moving from um, lower than 15th place to 14th, just scraping through. That is interesting, to say the least. I mean, I've fought Lars's before, and they're definitely a threat. Again, Lars's weakest point is that a lot of Lars players fight very similar. They have a very similar mindset in their fighting style, so that's something that you can exploit. And then secondly, their dynamic entry. Their dynamic entry is easy for punish, but the speed at which they can go into dynamic entry becomes a threat. Because you'll sometimes throw out a move, and in the animation of going into dynamic entry, they'll whiff a lot of mids and lows. So, it's kind of like when Kazuya does the, um, the spin low hit. You know when he spins and then he, like, bashes your, your ankles in? <laughs> With that low hit? That comes out so fast. Even though it looks like your move is supposed to hit, he always low profiles it at the right time to where all mids and highs just whiff and he just knocks you down. So that's the case with uh, Lars as well. Bottom there, you see the popularity list of characters. Official. I'm not surprised by that at all. Uh, this? Previous game. Yeah, I see it. But it's interesting. It is even more interesting to see that for the pro players, Kazia and Brian Fury... Kazia, Brian Fury aren't in the top 14. That is amazing. I did not expect to see that at all. Brian Fury and Kazuya not in the top 14 for uh, the higher ranked players, for the more professionals. Wow. Uh, when could okay. Just came up and, and it's pretty went, right? interesting. And then this is where they're talking about like battle passes and stuff. Buff so you can see in May. Are you gonna play Tekken by the way? Yeah, I just wanted to see what was in this video. And then I was gonna hop onto the game. Um, Let's see. A quit option has been added to the main menu that allows the game to be exited from sources other than the options. Thank God! Thank you! Oh my God, for the longest time, I think it was for a week, I did not know how to use this. Like how to, to exit game, to quit game. So I'd always press like Alt F4 the moment I wanted to quit game until I found out that you could exit game through the settings. So thank God that they removed that one. Okay, a feature has been added to ranked match, quick match, and group matches modes that allow the termination and invalidation of matches of the network quality falls behind a spread. Okay, whatever. Uh, indication has been added in a player match mode, yada yada yada. Ah, Not interested in this. And then this is the battle pass, which we don't care about. I'm not about to spend money on this. Yep, it's an actual battle pass. Like, it's an actual battle pass. Wow. With hairstyles, cosmetics, and all that stuff. Ugh. Ew. Okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever. It is what it is. And now Tekken has been ruined with monetization. Yeah, they were pretty slick with what they did. Where they introduced the game with very minimal... They decided to introduce the game with very middle... Uh, mi <coughs> accidentally went into quick match. They went into, they in, can't speak. They launched the game with very minimal microtransactions. Then once everybody got the um, into the game, once everybody favored the game, then all of a sudden, then they decided to add the microtransactions. They're like, oh, y'all are hooked. Now that y'all are hooked, pay. They were slick with that. But luckily, they're getting the back the backlash that they deserve. So I'm happy to see that. But even though they're going to get the backlash, even though they do get the backlash, most likely, 1000%, they're still going to move forward with it. Because they want to get as much money as possible. They want to milk us dry with this. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, uh, let's see. Practice combos. Why does your Lyra, Lyra customization look so familiar? Is that a Naruto character? No, it's a Bleach character. Hold on. Bleach. Nope. Oh God. Kaname. 
bleach. Yeah, I decided to model my um, my character after this guy. That's why I wanted to model him after him. Cause there aren't that many like good Leroy skins that you can find online. Very little, very little, bro. It's, Leroy does not have that many customizable uh, customizable options where people will look at them and like, oh, I can turn that character into this character. So he was one of the very few characters that I found that I was like, yeah, I have to put him into the game. Right now, it seems the ones that I have are Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks, uh, T Pain or a pimp named Slimback, Slickback. From the Boondocks or T-Pain. Um, who else? Static Shock, but an older version of him. And then who's the fourth one? Pimp Name Slipback, Static Shock, him, Kaname, and yeah, yeah, it's those four. I only have four customizables. Nope. Alright, who is going to be my first opponent? For the live stream. Please don't overrank me. Don't throw me up against somebody. John 3.16. What Bible verse is that? For the God so loved the world and gave his one and only son. Okay. I'm fighting a... <laughs> I'm fighting a man. Wait, this is Nobara. This is Nobara from Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, I fucked up my combo. I fucked up my combo. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yeah! Ah, yeah! Oh. Uh, I better relax. I better relax. <laughs> I better relax. Round two. Fight. Oh. <laughs> Good one. Oh! She countered my counter with a counter. Oh, shit! Damn, she hit me out of my my heat smash. Gonna make her eye pop. It, bitch! You fool! Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I I better I better relax. Okay. I better relax. <laughs> I better relax. <laughs> it's just so obvious that she was gonna go for a low. My last resort! Damn, my last resort didn't do shit. <gasps> I should have expected that. Damn, that's a lot of health. Yes, yeah, sir. I didn't mean to throw out that move, but I'll take it. <laughs> You're going out with nothing to show for it. <laughs> that was way too close. That was way too close. I should have locked in sooner. Get ready for the next to be honest, I kind of wanted to do a little taunt and summon sugar. Kind of like I did with that one lead. 
where somehow my dog was able to kill him. Okay, to be fair, my dog killed him because he decided to jump onto it. Which was hilarious. It was, it was funny. It was funny to see that happen. He was just so... And I was about to die too. I don't know what, like, got me to throw it out. Schlops? I feel like I've fought this person before. Round one. Have I? Okay. Mmm! I have an idea! I have an <laughs> I have an idea! I have an idea! Oh shit. I have an idea! I have an idea! It's just a matter of seeing this idea through though. <laughs> it's just a matter of seeing this idea through. Okay, maybe I might not need the idea. Oh, this dude's doing strength. Whoa, that was a... Damn it, I knew it was going to be a low. I should have blocked. I should have blocked. Why would you throw out a move like that knowing it can be grabbed out of? Think I'm gonna get hit with the same combo? Like, come on. Ah! Grab! Uh. Ah! This dude's doing strings! Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up! Accept all, chase no- oh! Oh! She tried to punish! Stop it! <laughs> she, she was waiting for the opportunity for me to, to throw out an attack so that she could rage art it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I saw you. I saw. Because <laughs> nobody, nobody is that. Like, all of a sudden, you were like aggressive the whole match. Or oh, you weren't aggressive. She wasn't aggressive. But like, you were kind of like, ooh, 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 exchanging the whole match. Now that your health is like so low. It's most likely the same person. Now that your health is so low that a good hit could kill you, and now all of a sudden you're acting all I'm not I'm not too sure. Like I saw it. You're trying to rage art. You're trying to rage art. If I had thrown out my heat smash, guaranteed on the spot, she was going to throw out her um She was going to throw out her rage art and I would have died. Actually no, I wouldn't have died. I would have got hit, but I wouldn't have died. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. Mighty ruler! Holy shit! This guy's like six ranks above me then. Oh, brother. Oh no, never mind. He's three ranks above me. Huh. Oh, that's a low profile move. No, fix your Wi Fi! Okay, good shit for predict. This nigga's Wi Fi is ass! Holy shit! Round two. Fight. Oh, of course, his hyper armor has priority over mine. Because this game is so cool. Oh, dynamic entry makes him plus? Okay. 
And the thing is, I wouldn't even be able to punish that without grabbing him. Like, literally, every single time, I'm just getting punished by the same move. God damn! Bro, that's three matches worth of ELO! God damn! Get ready for the next battle. Oh, man. Yeah, you see, fighting people like Lars and Kazuya is definitely stressful. Just because of how they low-profile attacks. I wonder if... Like, I'm... I'm... Seems like I'm standing for the most part. Ugh. Ugh. It is what it is. Alright. Yeah, I didn't know yet. We We're fighting the same Lily. Hello, sugar. I don't know. I look, I understand why she's throwing out the attack. I understand why she throws out this attack. Because it's her only combo start. Well, what? Not her only. But definitely one of her only combo starters. Hmm. Ah, okay. Round two. Fight. Okay. What? What? How did that? What? That is a nasty skit. How did I get hit by the stage gimmick? And I get launched. Lily's actually brain rot. I'm so, I'm just so confused how I got hit by the stage gimmick. Bro, 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 bro. This game told me that Leroy in that stance blocks all low hits. They said Leroy blocks every low hit when he's in that move. And yet here I am getting hit. Okay. You lose. That grab was supposed to come out. <sighs> okay. Round one. Fight. Oh my god, it's the only combo she knows. I need to find a way to punish that immediately. Like, immediately. Okay, great! Amazing! I need to find a way to punish that immediately. I don't know if sometimes it feels like she doesn't know how to block. Uh. Woo. But I can wait all match. Woo! Damn, damn, damn. She needs to know that move is punishable. Stop it. Keep your distance. Okay, fair, fair. That should not kill, though. Okay. If it had killed, I would have been concerned. 
Look at how careful she is now. Yeah. <laughs> Being far too careful. This grab is her weakness. Honestly, it is her weakness. Oh! It's the only combo she knows! Is the only combo she knows. Nope. Stop it. Bitch! Hell sweep. Haven't done that shit since the Hayan era. You win. Looks like sugar is happy to see salt. Oh, and he cancelled! Get ready for the next battle! To be fair, she lost the elo that she gained. <laughs> oh man. Remembering that Leroy has a hell sweep actually does throw me off so often. It throws me off because I'm like, I even forgot that I have the move. Get ready for the next battle. Ooh, high ranking Nina. I'm about to lose a lot of elo in this fight. Is this Bulma? Who the fuck are you? Oh, Fubuki! What? What's the point of a parry if they can just keep attacking through the parry? Ugh, and that move has hyper armor too. Unfortunately so. The move has hyper armor. Like, so I can't even hyper armor my move with her move. Somehow that hit her. I don't think that should have hit her. Personally, I don't think that should have hit her. Because I would have called bullshit if that shit hit me. Oh, whoa. No, no. Damn, bro. Hell sweep. Okay, good to know that high, low, high, high, low, high. Hmm, and that's a low. Oh, it's an airborne move. Like, holy shit! Get countered. You're being far too aggressive with me. Ah! Stop it! That's not enough to kill! It is! <laughs> Final round. Fight. I'm not open back. Okay. I just had to- Okay. Okay. Cool. I know what this game is on now. I know what this game is on. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh no, sing prayers at my funeral because I'm dead. Ugh. Please sing prayers at my funeral because I'm dead. That was a mistake. I tried to throw out my cane, but I'll take it. <laughs> call, call Sugar, let's get out of here. Call Sugar, let's get out of here. I'm not rematching. Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm not fighting another Tenryu. I'm sorry, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for the elo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised I actually survived that. I'm surprised. Okay. 
Bro, I need to land a 10 hit combo during one match. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Let me just program. Okay, never mind. Excuse me. It's like defensive. CPU action one. Record. Okay. Oh, wait. Record again. Alright. Yes. Begin training. Oh. Brian? Bro, I don't know how to do this online stuff. This uh, setting. Frequency, record. Select from a move list. Just... What's that move called again? Requiem. Oh, that's Requiem. Okay. Okay, I wonder. Okay, you... You can counter it, but not early. Yeah, you have to have amazing time with... You have to have amazing timing for to parry that one. Okay, who, who am I about to go up against? Get ready for the next battle. A dragon? Ah! Okay, okay. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, fighting a dragon off. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Do I? I beat that Tenryu Lily. Uh, not Lily, Nina. Nina was supposed to fuck me up. To be honest, that, that last move came out out of sheer luck. It was unintentional. But I'm glad that it did come out. Because if I threw out the staff, I would have gotten punished and I would have died. So maybe it was just, you know, it was a divine intervention. I'll think of it as that. Why do I always fight people in their base skin? I'm so curious. Oh lord! Okay, grab! Salt bucket 677! I guess he was expecting a low. I won't even lie to this guy, I don't know how to do a low. <laughs> Ow! Bro, the frames just had to drop when you were sidestepping, right. Cool. He's waiting for me to throw out an attack. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> We're playing a special dance here. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh! Oh, he low profile the attack. That's why. I don't know why his move whiffs a lot. That move so much. Oh, it missed. Oh, my God. Round four. Fight. Oh shit, I'm dead, I'm dead. Hell sweet biscuit! I had a feeling. What? I still... I still got grabbed. I don't... Wait, that was a one arm. That is an R1 to break out. Okay, good to know. Oh lord, bro! Bro, Dragon Off is just a problem! His- Oh my god, bro! His ability to just- Oh, oh! Dragging off is just a problem. <sighs> Damn. Get ready for the next battle. Bro, I hate every character in the game that has a move that forces you into crouch. I honestly hate it. So when Dragon Off does the when he does that move, I don't know if mine is also like a Actually, let's see. If I make my opponent block it, stand block, it doesn't even force crouch. Ugh. Yeah, but I hate it whenever I'm fighting a character and they have a move that does a force crouch move. It's just, oh, it's, it's infuriating. It's honestly infuriating. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, this has a tighter parry window than any other move. There's no way that spin is faster than 13 frames. Hmm. Okay. Now, now I need to record a move from his left side kick. Oh, that's the move. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for a, a low kick. Snake Edge. Yep. Eh, I know it's a low and I still get hit by it. So 
So Leroy's stance really does block all low attacks. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Why didn't I know this? Now every single time I'm fighting a Lily and Asuka, you know those people that do them, those slow sweep kicks where they slowly drop to the floor and they sweep up? I should enter that stance more often. That is not a low kick. Okay, good to know that I parry all low hits. Get ready for the next and I'm fighting a Fang, good luck. Looks like you're stronger than before. Who the hell is this supposed to be? Looks familiar though. Doc Ock? Nah. Uh. Damn, bro, Fang hits like a motherfucker. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, bro. Wrong move. Dragon sweep! <laughs> or it's hell sweep. <laughs> it actually works! It counters all low hits! It counters all low hits! You've met your match, Fang! Oh shit. Oh, that's a high rise. Oh. Stop it. Yo, you are being way too aggressive. Yep. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> Oh, There's something about, bro, Fang in Heat is just pure 50-50. Pure 50-50, literally. Bro, Fang is just- Oh no! I not mean to throw that move out. Hell sweep! Yes! Hmm. Stop it. Yup. Oh. Great. No, 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 I'm not, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay, let's hear Low Tier God ranting. Video is called Low Tier God would be a terrible father.
I mean, we already knew this, but I wonder why. Got a kid. But we're. Yeah, I didn't know he had a kid. But when you're rich, having a kid is like having an expensive toy. Like, you know, I just, I got nannies, all that shit, oh, new shoes, boom, bottles. Celebrity kids grow up and like, they're like seven, seven years old in four months. Bro, if I had a, if I was rich, I'd have multiple kids like fucking, like infinity stones. Like who really cares at that point? I'm already rich. It's not a big deal for me. I could still live my life the way I need to live it. And I just have hella kids. Like that shit would mean nothing to me. Oh, that was a, uh. Really the hardest part about kids is, is the bag is like having money. Like I said, and I also, I also, like I told you guys before, I don't feel that no kid should be raised in an apartment. So yeah. Literally, I just got up. Every kid deserves to be raised in a home. My whole life, I lived in fucking apartments. That's why it's going to be so great when I get home. Like, never, like, I wasn't raised in a house at all. <clears throat> wasn't raised in a house at all. So for me, it's going to be a surreal feeling. Elon got 11 children. For real, or are you joking? Stop with your stupid ass Azusena move. Damn. It got nerfed too. Eleven kids. How old is Elon's oldest kid? I mean, he's rich as shit. Him, bro. I, if I was that rich, I would have eleven kids too. Like, why not? You know who else got a fuckload of kids? Eddie Murphy got like ten. Hmm. Eddie Murphy Damn, got bro. ten kids. At least it's not a perfect, you know? Would I be like Nick Cannon, bro? If I had if I had that kind of money, why wouldn't I have multiple Hell kids? sweep! Oh shit. Like me personally, I would like to have five children. Five to six children. <laughs> Doesn't matter what she stage tried. of life, but me personally, I would like to have five I or six kids. I thought I blocked. I thought I blocked. I really thought I blocked that. Oh, that's uh okay. Good to know. Oh my god, being trapped in the wall being trapped against the wall in Tekken is an actual nightmare. No! Fuck, I can't break out of it. Hell sweep! No, no! I expected a low. I expected a low. Oh no. I what? Hello, I blocked a low. I blocked low. Hello? I blocked low, but that move still hit me. Nah, nah, that's actually foul. That's actually foul. That low hit hit me, but I blocked. I was literally ducking low and I still got hit. Okay, I guess. How was I able to avoid that? Dragon! Oh, good shit, jumping that. That move is an R1 grab. It's an R1 grab. Oh my goodness. It's an R1 grab. Oh shit. Ha! 
how did that hit? Bro, I swear, everybody in this character's legs, except for Leroy's, has extended hitboxes. Being forced to go aggressive against an Azucena. Like, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach. Oh my lord. I pressed R1, I pressed R1, I pressed R1. That's too late. <laughs> oh my god, as I said, oh my. I pressed R1. I pressed R1. I know how to block out of that grab. Woo! Woo! Get out of here, Missy. Get out of here, Missy. Oh, she going for those lows, bro. Oh, shit. Nah, nah, that's actually foul. Wow, I was low. I was low. How did that hit me? Oh god! Is that a move a mid high? I was low. How did I get hit? It literally said I was crouching. Okay, cool. But if I throw out a move like that, I'm going to get hit, right? When I. No, whenever I throw out a move. They low profile it. Whenever they throw out a move, it hits. Okay. Okay. Get ready for the next Young boy got like 10 or 11. Oh, That's what you kid. do when you're a rich, successful man. You have a fuckload of kids. Why not? Oh, it's in a promotion match for him too. Would I be present in their lives? Sure, if I agreed to have them, absolutely. You want six? Now, now hold on. Now imagine six kids while being broke. Yeah, Eddie got ten kids. Mm. Obviously, this is rich, rich people talk. But imagine having six kids while being broke. Your Maybe. dad never loved you. I mean, most of our dads never loved us. They was just fucking our moms, and we came out. No big deal. Eddie, you don't know who Eddie Murphy is? What? You hate okay. Your dad? My question to you is why do you hate your father? Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 w
Is this unavoidable? Jesus! Oh my goodness. Hell sweep. This game is actually on some bullshit. I press triangle! That's how you break out of the grab! That's how you break out of the grab! You press triangle! I pressed triangle! Oh my god, bruv. Okay. The amount of bullshit this game throws my way on a regular basis. It's cool though. Get ready for the next battle. Mighty Ruler Devil Jin. Oh fucking god. You don't have to love your father, but you don't have to dislike them if they weren't around. It was just fucking your mom, you know. Damn, man! Already an ex an electric immediately. Like I barely got to breathe, and I immediately got attacked by an electric. I thought that was a rage art move. Honestly, I expected a, um... Oh, that kills. Okay. Yo, Zay, how you doing? Uh, welcome, welcome. This game's matching, this game's matchmaking is actually atrocious. Uh, how have I been? Not good, not good at all. This nigga has been in my face. I hate that that hell sweep is a launch. Look at how much e Tekken's taking a toll on you. That's an understatement. Look at how much ELO I lost. Bro, this game genuinely needs to fix its ELO problem. I, I think it needs to fix its like online ranked ELO problem. Because there's no ways I lose this much. I lose this much health. Or not health. I lose this much elo being forced to fight somebody who is leagues above me in terms of ranking. Why? But it is what it is. I guess. But yeah, Tekken has been taking a toll. If you, if you, bro, if they match me up with the same Devil Jin, 
They matched me up with the same devil gin, bro. I'm gonna block him. I'm j that's it. I'm just gonna block him. Mm. At least it's not going to be a perfect. And I get juggled, so now he can get a combo. Combo. That was an accidental launch, or an accidental, uh, parry. How did that hit me? I was blocking up! I was literally blocking up when I got hit by that. Now I'm gonna get demoted. Well. When I know I'm blocking high, this game needs to know I'm blocking high. I don't know why they did he attack me a low. Oh, they attack me while I'm blocking high, and I still get hit. I get I block when I'm low, and I still get hit low. I'm like okay. I'm gonna get demoted and then I'm gonna get remoted, repromoted, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much stress I'm, I plan to put myself through with this game. Who the fuck are you supposed to be? Uh. Save the Soul Society? Uh, shit. Shit. We'll see. Wow, I'm getting fucked up by the Sazu Senna. <laughs> uh oh.
Oh, I was gonna say now I can wait out the timer. But I'll take that. I realize we're both Garyu? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. I thought she plugged? Nah. Taunting? Oh, nah. Okay. Damn, dragon. <laughs> Devil sweep. Or how, whatever it's called. Hell sweep? I can wait six seconds out. I can wait six seconds out. Stop it. She tried to do the, the, the knee hit. Uh. I hate moves. I honest, I will say this a million times. I hate moves that force you into a, stop it. I hate moves that force you into a um crouch position. Woo! I blocked high. This, you can't die from chip damage in this game. How sweet! Oh, wow! Okay. Good to know. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That should not kill. Okay. I know I pressed the button to break out of that grab. That backswing blow is launch was launch punishable on block. Are you talking up? Oh wait, firstly, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Are you talking about that um, the knee elbow move? I didn't know it was punishable on block. Hold on. Uh. Azucena, let's see, is that move punishable on block? Or are you talking about a different move? Defense, let's see, record from moveset. I'm talking about the one where she swings back. Oh, that one, okay. The Azucena move is actually stupid, which is funny because it got nerfed and still that broken. Actually hilarious. Yep, this one. Chip damage on block. It's so, like... The input is back 3 plus 4. Alright, alright. Back 3 plus 4. Let's look at moveset. Back 3 plus 4. Sidestep and duck helps. Back three plus four. So that's back X and triangle. Wait, X circle. Back X circle. Is this one? Yo, chill. Ha! 
I mean, that's not the move. It's back three, so back circle, then, uh, no, back, back X, then circle. That's the case. Let me see if I can find it. Back X, then circle. Here's back X, but there's no back X plus circle. Uh, you can press record and input as her. Hey, you're right. I can do that. Okay. Okay, so what is it? That is not the move I was looking for. Back... Back 3 plus 4. Yeah, back 3 plus 4. Keeps making me do this, uh... This move. God damn it. Because... It's like, wait, one, two, three, four, right? So squares one, triangles two, X is three, circles four. And I set my, uh, what's this, three and four. I set three and four to R2. But whenever I do back three plus four, it makes me do that jump move. Yeah, back three plus four it keeps making me do this. You're doing it right, that is, back 3 plus 4? Yeah, then... <laughs> then which move are you talking about that's blockable? The backswing blow. Wait a second, please. Sure, take your time. Damn, they gave her... <laughs> they gave her jiggle... I did not notice they, that they gave uh, Azucena jiggle physics. Actually, let me look at her command list real quick. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. You notice the jig jiggle physics? I didn't notice until now, cause I don't look at Azucena that often. The main, <laughs> the main menu jiggle physics screens. <laughs> Okay, it's down back 3 plus 4. Oh, okay. That move. That's... That's grabbable on block? There's no way. There's no way. Hold on. Uh... Ba -ba 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 oh, wait, I want to see how many frames it is on block. Minus 13, and a grab is 12 frames. It's not grabbable. Oh, it's launch punishable. Oh, okay, okay. All right, hold on, give me a second then. Let me try with Leroy. Uncle Ruckus. No, wait, I messed up. What happened now? What happened? Uh, let's see... Practice... Defense... Record... Okay, so you start recording and it's like... Down back... Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me let her hit me with the move. It's minus on... Oh yeah, because my launch is 13, 16. 16 frames, goddamn. What can I throw out then? I mean, that's a... Mm. That's 14, so she can immediately go to block on that. Um... That's 18. Hold on. 
Okay, I want to try one move. Why is it minus 16 now? It got nerfed. Oh, it's launch punishable. I don't know. It's plus 16. I don't know. And that's 18, so I can't even do that one. Hmm. Okay, it is launch punishable, right? Because it's... She's minus 16. I'm plus 16. And my move costs 16 frames. Alright, yeah, so it is launch punishable. Okay. And then my hell sweep. That's 20 frames, really? God damn. Uh, does Leroy have the generic down forward 2? Down forward 2 is triangle, right? Yeah, that's it. That's 15 frames. But it leads into this. And then I can then turn it into a combo. So it's not like itself a launcher, but a hey, it's the startup to a launcher. Or I can do this one because that's also 16 frames. I can do that, do that, or do that. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Bro, unfortunately, my tit Leroy is good. No. <laughs> no. No. He's low tier. But I try to make him work. Hold on. His 10 hit combo can be blocked and dodged. Can be ducked. But if it lands, you lose half your health. That one, I've only landed once. Once. And it was against somebody who was lower rank. They were too uh, aggressive, thought that they could punish this, so then they got hit by it. What's also nice is that once I'm in this stance, I can parry one hit. I can only parry one hit. So if I get hit with any other nasty combo, I'm cooked. Uh, let's see. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm from South Africa. That's where I'm from. Uh, in my opinion, tiers don't matter. Yeah, but it kind of gives you, like, an idea of how characters are regarded in terms of the hierarchy of gameplay. Especially because, like, I, I definitely do believe Leroy is low tier. Especially because he's constantly getting nerfed. One, his hyper armor move. He only has, what, two hyper armor moves in the game. One of them is his rage art. No, his heat smash. So this is his one of them. This is the second one. Problem is, when it comes to this move, every other move in the game that has hyper armor has priority. So if me and Azucena, let me program Azucena to throw out a um, heat, uh, a hyper armor move. Right? Okay. Okay. I get pri- she has priority over there. I wonder why. I don't know what determines whether or not these characters have priority over my... Is it who? Yeah, the po Power Crush. I just call them Hyper Armors. Because th that's basically what it is, is Hyper Armor. But I don't know what determines whether or not somebody's attack has priority. Is it whose hits last? I guess it is whose he hits last. So then if I hit her first, if I hit her first in her animation, then oh. So Leroy is just too fast. <laughs> what? Leroy is too fast. Cuz everybody else's power crush has delay like is slower by comparison. Mine always comes out faster than theirs. So they'll tank mine and overpower mine, prioritize theirs. Huh. The more you know. The more you know. In Tekken 7, Panda was the lowest tier and Raichu still won Tekken World Tournament or EVO. Huh. 
I'm waiting for somebody to win an EVO tournament with Leroy. That's what I gotta see. That's what I gotta see before I believe that Leroy is worth something in this game. Because right now he's worth bupkis. He's just ass. Power Crush hits first and the other pr Power Crush last. I only learned that today. Because every single time I would do it, I would get punished. Because my, my Power Crush always came out faster than everyone else's. Which is weird because it's 17 frames. 17 frames. I wouldn't expect it to be long. Uh, let's see this move. Oh, those are all mids. I'm looking for a low hit. Excuse me? Yep, this has to be a low hit. That's a mid? Yo, fuck off. Do you hate quarrying players? Yeah. But to be fair, the reason why I don't like quarrying players is because I, do, I just don't like characters that have a move where, let's say you're blocking, right? You're blocking high, then they'll throw a low hit, which then forces you to take the high hit. Reyna? I've kind of gotten used to Reynas. I don't hate them as much. Let me tell you, the characters that I hate the most. Dragonoff, King. Let's see, Dragonoff, King, Jin. Jin is on the top of that list. Jin. Uh, <laughs> Jin, Dragonoff. Brian, I'm kind of getting used to. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to him. Kazia. Ka I really don't like Kazia's uh, hell sweep. I, I hate Kazia's hell sweep. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I hate Kazia's hell sweep. That shit will always get me. Cause for so it comes out so fast. Uh, do you play against law? I don't know how I feel about laws. I'm like indifferent about them. They're they're frustrating to fight a uh, fight against. They're definitely a force to be reckoned with, but I don't know if I hate them. It's so interesting that this stance for Leroy automatically parries every single low hit in the game. Or low kick. I don't- and it makes him plus 16 as well. Okay, hold on. Can I like- no, I can't. I was gonna say, can I health sweep after I, I do the parry? I probably could. Oh. Uh, Tekken 7 had a lot of char characters with low parries, auto low parries. Yeah, I don't know how to... Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I used to be a dragon off main, then I switched my ways. Who do you switch to? Do you want to play against my law? I'm kind of rusty with him, but you'll beat me. <laughs> a Fujin? Why are they making me fight Fujins? Oh, I'm getting demoted for sure. Huh. Uh. Ah. Oh lord. I'm getting fucked. The fuck kind of grab is that? Is that a low kick? That looked like a mid. That's a low? Bro, sometimes this game has like the funkiest animations, I swear. The funkiest animations I have ever seen. Where the animation clearly shows me that this attack is a, is a it looks like a mid, but actually, eh, no, it's a low. Thank you, welcome back. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know what I thought being aggressive against a Fujin. It does look like a low? Bro, bro I've seen mid attacks that hit that low. That's why I'm so sh like so unsure of what the move is.
Because you have some moves that hit low. You have some moves that, that look like they hit low, but they're actually mids. There's some mids that look like they hit low. Good sidestep. Oh, Lord. I got no such problem. I always have that problem where some moves look like they're supposed to be lows. But they're actually like highs or they're mids. Stop it. I blocked. Okay. Lows look like lows to me. Damn, that's a lot of elo. That's a lot of elo to lose. Take care, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Uh, what for, watch out for Jin's heat smash. I know it's a projectile. But, like, some lows don't look like lows to me. Some low, like, that kick that Jin kicked me with, that looked like it was around this level. It looked like, like, high, um... High thigh? It looked like high thigh to low stomach. But then it was counted as a low. So that's why I'm like thrown off by such stuff. Like this. This is gut punching her. Right, hold on. This is gut punching her, right? But it's counted as a special low. What are your rank restrictions? Um, Three plus... Plus minus preferred. But if for some reason they decided to match me up against a Fujin. I don't know why. It's happened before. Actually, I think the highest rank they made me fight was somebody who was 10 ranks above me. So I was Garyu and they made me fight somebody who was Tekken King. That is the highest they've made me... That's the highest they've made me rank up with. So, yeah, that was crazy. Luckily, I won, fortunately. He was a jack-8 and I won. But, it was still kind of crazy that they pinned me up against somebody like that. Ooh, a Feng. And I fought this Feng before, and he beat me. I think. Wait, did he beat me? He did. Yep. Who is he supposed to be, though? I wonder how my connection would be with Africa. Oh my god! Stop it. Stop it. Like, stop it. How many times are you going to attack me low? Like, fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. STOP IT! <laughs> oh! Ah! Damn, bro. <sighs> I don't know if I beat this guy. I don't know if I beat him the last time I fought him. Mmm. Stop it. I need to do hell sweeps as a... After I land that, I need to start doing hell sweeps. Oh. Oh. I don't know how that move came out, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeet. You're going out with nothing to show with it. And <laughs> I'm surprised the cane worked. No. Okay, you said you wanted to fight me with law. I'm ready for that one.
Bro, that staff that Leroy has shouldn't be relegated to once per game. It should be once per round. Because honestly, the combos it can get off aren't really that amazing. Honestly, the combos it can get off are not amazing enough for it to be relegated to once per round. Not at all. Sorry. It's some bullshit if you want to do that. And it doesn't even have hyper armor. That's even worse. So you know when you equipped when you go to the store and you equip the items, right? The the weapon items like the Nagatama. Is it called the Nagatana? The Nagatana, the baguette, the, the shotgun, and all that stuff. You know those weapons, right? Did you know the baguette has hyper armor? So that means a customizable item I can get from the shop has more hyper armor than Leroy's cane. But both of them can only be used once per match. So, safe to say, yeah, buff Leroy. I'm sorry, this meme of nerf Leroy has to come to an end. At least let it be like that until I can... Oh, wait, I'm supposed to create a session, not search. Um, Nick is the same? Who's Nick? My brain blanked out. Who's Nick? Ugh, let me rename this to Discord stream. Oh, st Wait, I was about to say Nick Fox. <laughs> I'm thinking of Steve Fox. Oh, nickname. Nick is the same. Nickname is the same. Oh. Wait, what? I'm so <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. Let's say a number of participants, like the three. Somebody else wants to hop in. And we'll create the session. And oh yeah, I don't have you friended. How do I change my ID? Here's my I, uh, my Tekken ID if you want to m get into the lobby through here, or you can get into the lobby through the name, which is Discord Stream. Oh, I thought you made me create the lobby. I mean, I don't mind either or. Do you want me to join your lobby? Do you want to join my lobby? Yeah, yeah I'm fine with any. But yeah, I don't know. When it comes to Leroy's cane, it honestly needs a buff. Because it bothers me so much. You can have a Kazuya. If you whiff a pro level Kazuya, twice, you're dead. Right? Two good combos from Kazuya is half your health. Or one combo is half your health, the other combo is full dead. So why is Leroy's cane relegated to once per game? It's part of his character, it's not even a customization um, item. So I don't know why it's relegated to once per game. That's the thing that never made sense to me. So yeah, I think the K needs a, a buff. As for Sugar, I've come to accept that Sugar is just a gimmick item. He's a gimmick projectile. That's what he is. He's nothing more. Give me a second. Sure, take your time. Like, I've beaten one. No, I've beaten... Yeah, I've beaten one person with Sugar. And that was because he jumped onto it. I'll play the match again after because I love watching that match. I was fighting a high rank Lee. When it wasn't a Lee, it was a Lee. I was fighting a high rank Lee. And he was supposed to kill me. But I summoned Sugar. Sugar ran through and he tried to jump over it but jumped onto it and died. Uh, you received a friend request. How do I accept those? How do I accept those? Oh wait, hold on, leave session. That's being, by the way, not Fuse. Yeah, I'll still accept a friend request. Uh, community, let's go. Okay, I got one from both of y'all. You're a Fuji? With law? And you say, I'm gonna beat you. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, I guess. I guess. Uh, where is it? Approve. For some, I'm blind. You're a Fujin. Oh, I'm a bit rusty with law, but you're gonna beat me. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's law that I'm fighting. I'm not good with laws. Uh, <laughs> you sound like a criminal. Uh, okay, let me create a session. Did I just go to search? Yep, I did. 
create session and then i have four people so we can also watch you guys fight uh, if you guys want to if you guys want to fight each other then this stream is for you let's have it relegated to four p ah, five in case somebody else wants to hop in we're not gonna keep it gated off for everyone you know uh let's see invite friend And here we go. Speaking of which, I need to make 10k a rival now. Oh, accidentally sent him an invite. I need to make him a rival. Because he's what? Because <laughs> I got demoted. He's two ranks above me. I do wonder how the, int the connection is going to be. Hopefully it's not bad. My Wi-Fi is pretty good, I will say. But I wonder if that's good enough. You know? Because right now my Wi-Fi speed on average is 70 megabytes per second, which is good enough for stream and game. I live in the UK, so it might be laggy. Yeah, it might be. We'll see. I got Ethernet. Yeah, I'm using Ethernet as well. Okay, Garu Steve Fox. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no! 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 Kind of looks like a Pokemon NPC. I don't know who he's meant to represent. R Rugal? No, but Rugal has the jacket as well. And the cap. So... Oh. What is Steve? Is he sidestep left? Is Steve a sidestep left or right? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, no! Damn it. <laughs> His fist. He should be a sidestep left, right? Okay, that had tracking. Bop. Oh, heat smash. Heat smash. I was like, why didn't I parry that? God damn it. Okay. I'm not used to fighting Steve's. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it. No. Come on. Steve is sidestep left? Damn, then your moves have nasty amounts of tracking. Oh, that's a guard break. Now, I fought enough Steve Foxes to know that leads to a grab. I fought enough of y'all to know that is definitely a grab. Woo! Oh. God damn it. Ooh. The heat smash didn't come out in time. GG's for sure. I need to learn how to fight Steve's more often. Because I'm like, okay, Steve is sidestep left. Cool. I sidestep left. Okay, I guess I'm spectating. Like, it's like Steve is sidestep left. Cool. I sidestep left and I get hit. Like, what? But again, it's most likely because of the tracking. I was like, yeah, just because the character sidestep a specific direction doesn't mean that every move is going to be sidesteppable to that direction. Some moves will travel, will track you. So I'm not surprised by that one. Getting ready for the match. Okay. I just didn't think the move was gonna, like, hit me like that. I know Leroy's also sidestep left, and then everybody else is sidestep right. How do I remove the... 
Hey, yo, I'm trying to remove the, uh, the thing. Display chat on. There we go. Oh, Kung Lao. Okay. Ooh. I love the dr the blue dragon effect. I love it a lot. Ooh. See, I used to main law in Tekken 5. I don't know why I chose not to main him in this game. No, it's because I wanted to use Leroy. That's why. That move. I don't know. How do you avoid that move, by the way? Do you sidestep it? You can't duck it because it's a mid. So, I think the best course of action is to sidestep it or block. But block makes you take a lot of chip damage. The fact that he has a grab that launches you... For a combo is kind of deviant. Hmm. Oh, heat smash. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, GG's. And you expect me to fight you? Come on, bro. What are we doing? Oh, I'm rusty with law. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Okay, let, let's do it regardless. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> that was wow. Okay, uh... Let's go Static Shock. In his defense, I'm a Vanguisher Law. And he was my first main. I forgot how to play Law. I get that. I feel like once I pick up Eddie, I'll completely forget how to play uh, Leroy. Obviously, there'll be some things ingrained into my head, but like for the most part, I would forget how to play him. Okay. I fucked up my combo! No! Hell sweep! Damn it! <laughs> oh shit. Perry, perfect Perry. Ah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, okay, that was a close one, though. God damn. Wrong move is coming out! Oh! Uh, oh! I thought I blocked that! No! Ooh. Ooh. You're the first person to actually- Ah! You're the first person to actually block that. I thought my heat smash would come out in time. Okay. <laughs> lock in. Lock in, Discord. Ah! Never mind. I can't lock in. Oh. Woo! Let me down! No! Attack, yeah. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> All 
<laughs> All right, GG's. I thought I could low sweep that in time. Uh, that's what happens when I picked up speed. I'm all of a sudden dog shit with Dragon off. Oh, I thought I could low hit that. Okay. Who just joined? From the Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> I guess if he wants to hop in and get beaten, sure. Man, okay, at least now I know certain moves about law. Although I don't, I still need to fight them more to know what moves are like punishable, what moves aren't, yada yada yada. You, you get the gist of it, you know? Flame, you're a flame ruler? You're a flame ruler? Oh, Lord. For a second, I thought that was Tatsumak. Who are you? Rate the Peter. I was going to say, your hair, shouldn't your hair be blonde? But I remember, Peter Griffin's not blonde-headed. <laughs> I've seen Jack. Jack ate as a Peter Griffin. That was interesting to see. Oh, yeah. The Heat Smash wasn't going to hit regardless. Ooh, electric. That, okay, that would work against me, because I don't know, <laughs> I did not know what to do against that. But he's a flame ruler, I don't think it would have been as effective against him. Amazing law troll? Wait, what are you talking about? Damn. Bro, how do you break out of that grab? Every single time Arena hits me with that one, I always die. I always die to that shit. Well, I always get hit by it. Because I don't know how to break out. I don't know if it's an R1 to break out of it. It just probably is. I was delayed by 10 minutes? Oh. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I always expect somebody to do that move. And sometimes I still get hit by it, but <laughs> I dodge back and I grab. Bro, what the hell? I got good. <laughs> uh, let's see. What the hell is with your PC? Is it. Are you talking about my PC? No, my PC is perfectly fine. Oh, you're talking about uh, his. Oh, oh, oh. I live in the UK, so it's most likely the Wi-Fi. It's probably a Wi-Fi problem. Luckily, I have a good PC, and I also have, like, a, a good Wi-Fi. I would say I have good Wi-Fi. That was not the Wi-Fi? My, P, uh, my PC can run Tekken 8 just fine. Bro, I'm surprised my PC can even run Tekken 8 with the amount of Google tabs I have open. Shows in the corner. I thought that little bar thing in the corner was like whether or not your Wi-Fi is good. The PC's having problems, I swear. Huh. Okay. Stop it. No. Surprised that hit you? I'm not gonna lie, that was not supposed to hit you. Ah! I'm against the wall! No! Oh! I'm being crucified! Was that an electric? Oh yeah, I forgot. Every When she's in heat, every move she throws out is an electric. Surya! Like that move right there? 
Oh shit. No! Fuck! Oh. Uh, you see, I swear, my my uh hyper armor moves are much faster. So I always get punished by them. Please land the combo. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that was my fault for sprinting into it. That was my fault. I'll take accountability there. No! That parry came out by mistake! Oh lord! Ooh. I'm surprised that actually worked. <laughs> With the with the starter frames, I'm surprised that worked. No. I try to heat smash. <laughs> Hyper armored. You even if I hit you, you would have. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Who is your character supposed to be? <laughs> That's what I'm confused about. Who's your character supposed to be? No one. Oh, okay. I just made it. Oh. I thought it was meant to be somebody. Because, like, the mask, the necklace, and then the schoolgirl outfit. I thought it was meant to be someone. But I'm like, I don't, I don't think I've watched any anime where the main character was like that. No, okay, I'm thinking of Shinometa, but... She had underwear as a mask. I guess you can't do that in this game. But she had underwear as a mask, and she had white hair. Wait, no. She had black hair. Shinometa, let's see. Yeah, she did have black hair. Okay. That was, I was thinking about the Yandere, the girl who put her semen... She doesn't have semen. Who put her cum in the cookies. That's who I was thinking about when I was thinking of white hair. Okay, I was thinking of someone else. Mighty Ruler Huarang. That is pretty cool. Boxing versus kicking. Boxing versus Taekwondo. Who wins? I'm not gonna. That is a very compromising position to put um, Steve into. Wait a minute. I just noticed your outfit. Your <laughs> your Ace Phoenix. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like Ace Phoenix. I like it. It looks like Ace Phoenix versus Andrew. T <laughs> uh, damn. Damn, Warring has so many hyper armor moves. It's damn. Okay, that's a two hand. No. That looks like one hand. Is that an R1 to break out? It is one hand. So it is R1 to break out. Woo! Woo! Yep. You fumbled the combo. Okay, punish regardless. Tracking is crazy. Okay, that is his triangle circle. So his what? What is it called again? 2 plus 4? That's his 2 plus 4 grab, so you can break out of that with a triangle. Wait, no, he stays on the same side. So that means it's his uh, 1 plus 3.
Goddamn! Almost ha half your health gone with one combo. Ooh! <laughs> Jesus indeed. Why you let that hit you? I have no idea. There goes half your health. Oh, uh, yep. This game has been decided. Perfect for perfect. Return to favor. GG's. GG's. And so it looks like whor when you guys are doing whoring versus... When you guys are doing whoring versus um, Steve Fox, y'all are evenly matched. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. I did not expect to see that though, but Ace Phoenix versus Andrew Tate. That was a really good game. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> not time to get my ass whooped. I don't know how to use any other character in this game, funny enough. The only thing I know how to do other than use Leroy is King's Rolling Death Cradle. That's the only thing I know how to do. Because I decided to learn that one just for the memes, you know? But I don't know how to use King. I just know how to use the Death Cradle. That's it. Why? Because I'm saving myself for... Saving myself for uh, Eddie. No Diddy. No Homo. You know? How do I fight Warrings? What? Out of everything you know, the Rolling Death Cradle? Because funny enough, it's very simple to... Ah! Funny enough, it's very simple to perform. It's one of the easiest grabs I've ever seen, like chain grabs in this game, to perform. What? What? Okay, okay. Okay, cool. No, 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 I pressed the wrong move. With whorings, you can just parry that and you win. I wish it was that simple. That's a low, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, damn it. Bro, I hate that about Huarang. His low hits. What? My heat smash. His low hits that just prevent you from blocking. From blocking high. I hate those so much. They're so bad. Any move that forces you to take a low hit and you can't take the high hit, I hate it. I actually hate it. Woo! Oh, wow! Oh. I fucked up my combo! No! Damn it! <laughs> I had my opportunity and I fucked it up! I had my combo chance and I ruined it. I ruined it. The second you were airborne, my combo should have come out fluidly. It wasn't even gonna kill. It wasn't gonna kill. It was just gonna do some damage. Take it as it is. And then I move forward. But no, I just had to have my shit rocked in. Because I didn't expect it to land, actually. Now, from now on, I should... I should th have the move ready, just in case it does. I just can't wait to use Eddie. Give me Eddie! The second I have Eddie, 
I should be good. I should be clean. I should be safe. Okay, Dragon Off. Toji. Okay. Yeah, that move is aggressive. I wonder if that... Oh, damn. I wonder if that, that like, powerful kick can be parried by Leroy's... Um, Leroy's Hermit Stance. Ow. That was about to be a nasty grab if that landed. Yeah. Okay, that's a side switch. That means it's a triangle circle. Or it's 2-4. That's Huarang's 2-4 ability. Has to be. God damn! <laughs> I did not know Huarang could do that. Just screen tra- Oh. R1. Good shit. Good shit. Hmm. Yep, that's his R1. Whoa! Oh! Okay! <laughs> okay! Oh, yo! Double KO! Not what I expected at all. Ooh. Smart. Punished. Is this about to be another double KO? Okay, never mind. <laughs> GG's to the whoring. That was a really close one though. That was really close. I did not expect the double KO. To be honest, I thought Huarang was going to win that one. I really thought that Huarang was going to win that one. Sorry, I got to go. No problem. No problem. That was really fun, though. Great to have you here. And GG's. GG's on your wins. Oh, I really thought Huarang was going to win that. It looked like his kick came out faster. Huh. Okay. Hold on, Tekken mods. I want to see if there's an Uncle Ruckus. Hope to see you again in another stream, or hope to fight you again when I improve, or if I pick up Eddie. Let's see, Uncle Ruckus. Please tell me there's an Uncle Ruckus mod for Leroy, like a voice pack. Because for some reason, the low-tier god one doesn't work. Hmm. It's for Tekken 7, that's why! I have a Tekken 7 mod in my Tekken 8 folder. Okay, understandable. That's a side switch, so that means triangle to break out of it. Okay. Okay. You cheeky little... Oh! Oyo? Oyo! 
K.O. Damn it. Okay, I thought I thought you were gonna do the low kick. You were trying to do it again. You're trying to do it twice. Oh, yo. Oh. Stop it. You're being too aggressive. Dragon sweep. <laughs> okay. Combo. No, I fucked up my combo. No. Oh no, come on, don't let this be. Woo! Woo! I thought my move would come out faster. Oh, damn it. Oh, I thought that was safe. Oh, it's safe on block. It's not safe on, uh, whiff. Damn. Damn, nigga. Oh, my goodness. No, stop it, stop it. No, stop it, stop it. Stop it, KO. Stop it. I saw that grab coming, and that shit looked like it had power too. Itch. Okay. Okay. Nice try. I saw that coming. Loki, I could have gotten you with a hell sweep. Ko, ko, ko. Yes, sir. Perfect. <laughs> GG's Oh shit <laughs> Oof, I'm still tight I, was, I fucked up my combo I fucked up my combo Oh lord The moment I hit you with that hell sweep And I had the chance You were right there And I fucked up my combo Damn! 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 But it's cool! It's cool! It's cool! <laughs> we need to have more Tekken 8, like, voice mods. In progress, all my costume? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Grab, yep. Knew you were gonna go on the offensive there. Ah! I keep falling for them whiffs. Yes! Damn it! No! Is that a side switch? It is a side switch. So, triangle to break out of it. I saw that low coming. Stop it. How sweet! Damn! Cause he tried to throw out the parry. Oh damn, damn that move comes out fast. Woo! Damn, yep. That was my fault. For letting myself get hit by that. That was my fault. For letting myself get hit by that. Oh, that means your next hit is a counter. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I thought I could punish that. Good to know I can't. Have I seriously not won a single round? <laughs> I thought I was close.
Okay. Oh. Please. Okay. Okay. I thought I whiffed. I thought I whiffed. I can't play, but I can watch the stream. Sure. Stop, block. Apricots! Okay. Nope. Because <laughs> every Steve Fox immediately goes for a grab after that. Stop it! Stop it! Stop with the grabs! Oh, oh shit. No, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No! That was one arm. That was one arm. I should have broke out of it with R1. God damn. There were so many times where I was close. GG. Okay, do one more match and I gotta go. Alright, bet, bet, bet. There was so many rounds where I was so close. So close. And I'd make a dumb mistake. Either it's an input or I just... Yeah, skill issue. I, I whiffed. I whiffed those attacks and I paid for them severely. Hmm. Okay. Are you streaming only at this time? I usually stream from like, because I live in South Africa, my GMT is what? Yeah, I go by GMT in terms of time zones. And I usually stream from like 10 until whenever, <laughs> to be honest. I don't have a set time when the live stream ends, but I usually start at like 10, half past 10. So depending on the country you're in, that should be around like 8 p.m. to 2 in the afternoon. That was my fault. My fault. Okay, good one, good one. Oh. That's a side switch as well, so I don't know which one is... Nope, I'm dead. Uh. And then, damn it, you go for the guard, you usually go for a guard break, and then you go for the grab. Ooh, 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 chill, chill, <laughs> chill on that one. Ain't gotta be that deep. That whiffs the, the tr tr travel as well? Good to know. Hell sweep! My GMT is plus three, so you're one hour ahead of me. Okay. So that means I usually stream by like 11 p.m. for you. I do plan on streaming earlier. Ah, ha, 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 Damn it, I should have parried, I should have parried. I have been planning to like stream earlier again. Like, I used to stream at 8 p.m. for myself. And then I just shifted it two hours, because I used to, te I tended to oversleep. Just do it, just do it, streaks. Why did you dive? That wasn't even the move I wanted. I wanted the move. The, the hyper armor move, not the dive. Why did he dive? Oh, damn. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Oh, sweet! Damn it! Okay, you got me. Ah! Uh, whoa! Okay, I can roll. I can low profile that. I can sweep that. Good to know. <laughs> you fell into habit. I saw that. You fell into habit there. I saw that, I saw that very clearly. Uh, what's the startup on the move that leads to the heat engager? Uh, which one, the kicks? It's like 18 frames. Okay, <laughs> good one. All right, you broke out of your habit. I saw. Okay, good shit. Don't fuck up your combo. Yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, the <laughs> GGs, GGs. My last resort. Uh, let's see the punches. I think it's thirteen frames on startup. It was fun playing with you, bro. Have a good one. You too. I hope to fight you again. I hope to fight you again. Uh, let me just quickly go to practice. I think it's 13 frames for the chain punches that lead into the shoulder bash or the uh, charged elbow. Let me just double check. <laughs> I did not expect the cane to work. Oh, I thought you were gonna block the cane. Then I would have just had to like, fuck it, we ball. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's 14 frames. So you can grab out of it. Regular jabs break out of it. Your... So one breaks out of it, two breaks out of it. Three breaks out of it. No, no, three doesn't. But four does. Okay. So one, two, four. Funny enough, that's a combo. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think practicing in rank, but searching off is better. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it's... And it's a wall breaker, too. So 14 frames, and then the final hit is 17. But if it's blocked, then I'm minus 17. Which just punishes me with like every launcher, which is unfortunate. Luckily, you can also do it from the hermit stance, which also 14. And if I try my 10 hit combo, yeah. Yeah, so I tend not to do this one in round start unless I have a very strong inkling that the person starting the match is going to throw out one of these moves. Because then, while they're in the anim- hold on, actually let me show you an example. While they're in the animation of doing a hyper armor move, it slows them down. So I can throw out the full move and it, because they're in the middle of an attack, it's considered a counter. So they're taking more damage for throwing out the hyper armor move. So I'll take a little hit. I was like, yeah, sure, I can take a hit. But then they will suffer more. Uh, is this one? I think. Yep. Oh. See? It's like, depending on when I can get it out, I can get more. I deal more health damage than I take health. Uh, take health. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And then I just go for a attack.
you can get somebody's like it's, it's a good trade-off you take a little bit of damage compared to the amount of damage they take you know and i do like i only do it round start when i know when i have a very strong feeling that somebody's about to throw out a hyper armor move because since my hyper armor is not going to do anything, I'm slower, so might as well just chain it out. Take a deal as much damage as possible. It's good, but they can restore their HP since the, it's recoverable health. Yeah, if they land a move that immediately becomes a heat engager, then all of that's useless. Then I've just tanked health for nothing. I've just taken health for nothing. But yeah, usually I'm able to deal enough. It's like, yeah, I'll take a couple of hits, they will take the hits, and then usually I'm able to deal enough before they go Heat Engager. Unless I'm fighting, like, a king. Because, yeah, I don't know why. Kings are just built like that. They're just built different. My last resort. Bro, two mods. Oh! No, no, no! Okay, two mods that need to be added to the game. One, Uncle Ruckus for Leroy. Give Uncle Ruckus voiceover, a voice pack for, Le uh, for Leroy. One. And then two, uh, Low Tier God. Low Tier God sound bites. Even without heat engaging, let's say Kazuya health sweeps you and restores HP, which is unfortunate. Actually, speaking of Kazuya... I gotta see, I have to see if his Hell Sweep can be parried by um, Leroy's stance. I got to see this. Defense, select from movesets. Is it called Hell Sweep in this game? Or is it called something else? Nope, not the one. Could I? I don't know, actually, XD. Like, <laughs> I don't know either. Like, I just know what a health sweep is, is like a low hit that leads into a high hit, and it does a lot of knockback. That's all I know. Is it this one? That's a mid high. Really? Okay. Uh, tsunami kick. Oh, tsunami. Okay. Seek something in like God stance. Good idea. Although when it comes to hell sweep, something that bothers me is how they're able to do it from like. You're joking. That's all mids? That looks like it would come up from the ground so it'd be a low. But, okay. Um, hmm. Flash tornado. Huh. Okay, cool. Makes sense, right? Because it... Alright. Reign of Terror... I'm pretty sure it's a high. Oh, this is the... Hmm. So just pressing down... D oh, because you're not blocking. You're not pressing back. Like, every single time I see him do the first start-up, they usually go for the up, up, down, up. They never go for the up, up, down, down. So I'm able to, like, kind of see that a lot of the time and protect myself from it. Okay. So it's... Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
At least you can still get hit by the first one. And block the rest. I gotta see the opponent's frame data to see how, like, whether or not that's punishable, and if so, by how much. The move is so bad, but I've been fucked up by this move way too many times for me to say it's bad. Wait, no, I'm looking for his frame data. I don't care about the attack info, show me the frame data. It's 25? And it leaves him 23 frames. True. And I can punish it with the launch. It's 23 frames of... Oh, that can lead into a launch. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's getting demoted and I'm getting promoted. Please. Oh, man. You got no delay on stream? Yeah, I, I made it part of my YouTube settings to make sure that whenever I'm streaming, the stream delay is like as little as possible. <laughs> I just had to do that once. I just had to do that once. Sweep! No! Damn! Average Alyssa player? Yeah, unfortunately. Why is she so passive? Oh, that was her heat smash. Okay. I've never seen such. I've never seen an Alyssa so defensive. Alyssa's are so pa always passive. Not the ones that I've fought. The ones I fought are always aggressive, hyper aggressive. To the point that it's scary. Stay down. Drag oh woo! Okay. Good shit. I see them all the time. I guess this is just the one. But they're usually so aggressive. Like, you know it's bad when I, as a Leroy, have to be the aggressive one. Like, what do I do? <laughs> you know it's bad when I have to be the aggressor. A Leroy? A Leroy as the aggressor. Wow. Stay down. Well, get demoted, I guess. You went out with nothing to show for it. Finally, I'm back to where I was. I think Leroy should be aggressive. Hell no. <laughs> I'm glad that you think so. But hell fucking no. Should Leroy be aggressive? Because of the mix-up from stance? Look, the only one. While in the stance, you cannot block. You cannot block while in this stance. But all low hits are automatic parries. Great. Cool. The only moves this leads up to... Or, wait, most likely the Alyssa. It's Hell Sweep. That's it. Or this, which, as you've seen, both of them are low highs. Stop it. Both of them are low high or low middle. Right? Not really much of uh, something that you can do from there. Or go for middle. If they're blocking low to... Like, let's say that you run towards them. Let's, like... 
Right? And then they... No. Which one is it? Is it this one? Stop it. Oh yeah, usually when they block this... Yeah, let me make him block. Let me make him block. Standing block. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, right? He goes into this stance. Now, people are expecting lows. So you can either do this and punish. Or... You can do Hell Sweep. Those are the only two things you have. What other- what else can you do while in this stance? Not much. <laughs> Not much. Poke, I guess. You can do that, apparently. Hmm. But how effective is it? You can't even, like, chain a combo off of it. You know I started playing Reyna because a lot of Reynas I met were down- DOWNPLAYING Reyna! <laughs> and I thought I heard it all. I thought I heard it all. Downplaying Reyna. I really thought I heard it all. I have to see what moves are in the combo set list for Crane Stance. Or Hermit Stance, that's what it's called. Okay. Mm hmm Maybe I should try Leroy and reach Fujin? Leroy is fun. He is. I agree. He is fun. The only problem with Le Hmm. The more you know. He's low tier. He's fun. But he's like... Ugh. You can get good with Leroy. Don't like... Don't let me tell you you can't. The fact that I'm like steady Garyu. That's where my rank is for the most part. It shows that you can do things with Leroy. And I have a lot of room to learn and develop with this character. He's ass. But you can be good with him. Right? It's all about like oh in the right hands. So, if you want to pick up Leroy, go ahead, please. <laughs> I'd love to learn something from you on how to use this character. Yeah, I guess. Yep, that one I do all the time. <laughs> That's 14 frames? But what can you do from that? Because it looks like it just puts you in neutral. Yeah, it literally just resets you to neutral. But the opponent is minus 15 frames. So maybe you could throw out something good. I don't know. Uh -huh. 26 frames on starter, but gives you the opportunity to combo. Wait, does it? It does! It does! Okay. Okay, it does. I wanted to pick up Huarang. I wanted to pick up Huarang, saw some uh, novice streamer play him, and I wanted to help him get better. Yeah, please. Pick up Leroy, give me some advice. And also, thank you very much. Thank you so much for the donation. I truly do appreciate it. Loose change fell out of my pocket. Thank you very much. I love that. I love that. Thank you very much. I will use all this, these funds. To buy Leroy when the DLC comes out. <laughs> I'll use it for Leroy. What the hell is this? When Eddie comes out, I'm buying it. How much in rubles is this? I don't know. I don't even know the currency. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't know the currency. Uh, H-U-F. Currency. Oh, it's Hungarian. Okay, so you donated 400, which means... Okay. I'll definitely use this money for... I'll use this money for Eddie. So how much is this? Hungarian... Two rubles... 
Let's see, that was, let's see, uh, 400. So that would be 101 Russian rubles. Yeah, 101 Russian rubles. Ah. It's getting, my earphones are getting caught up. Okay, let's see, what else can I use? It's a low. It's 20, but plus 4 on hit. Which doesn't really do much. And then this is for dodging. Yeah. And then this one is like... Grrr. Yep. Although, being in the stands, I barely dodge. I probably should. Because the fact that it makes me sidestep, I probably should utilize it more. Maybe it's in my blood, but I hate capitalism. I'm kind of indifferent about it, to be honest. There are like moments where I do enjoy capitalism, and then there are times where I'm like, oh, socialism is the way. Everything in my store is so expensive. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Inflation fucked us in the ass. Inflation was no joke. A Brian Fury. Hmm. Okay. Who are you supposed to be? God damn. Gushy gushy arm. She ride a dick like a carnival. Low? No, I fucked up my combo! Hell sweep! Ha! <sighs> <laughs> Counter! I met Hitler Victor once? <laughs> I'm not even surprised by that. You got nice parries? Hey man, I try. Ooh. Thank you for the donation again. I'm busy though. I'm distracted. He's gonna block low? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Woo. Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh man no damn that's a that's not a side switch huh okay die what oh my god damn calm the fuck down Okay, my heat smash didn't come out in time. Keeps falling out anyways, beat their asses. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, does Lero have a launcher because I've never seen you do it? Yeah, I never do it because of the frame startup. He definitely does. Let me try now. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's your launcher. <laughs> I just never use it. Oh, I mean, while sta that is a standing one. Well, sort of. It's like, it's down diagonal. It's down, down, diagonal, forward, then forward, triangle. So the same inputs that you kind of use for the um, electric god, thunder god fist, whatever it's called. I mean, from a crouch, that, I... 
Oh, it means getting up from a crouch? Hmm, you're not wrong. It's considered a high, though. This launcher's a high. Um... One that he has from standing. That's not a launcher. Oh! That one. Right, but I'm pretty sure everybody has this. Junior, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. I think everybody has this one. As a launcher, yeah. I know Brian has one. Whoring has one. So I think this is like staple for everyone. This is his only standing launcher that he has. Actually, is it? That also. Yeah. 15 frames. It's called an orbital? Yeah. 15 frame startup. So I never really use it often. Yeah, my down forward triangle. Down forward triangle into um, 1 plus 2. So down forward 2 into 1 plus 2. That's that's a launcher from standing. Uh, let's see, he's down forward one plus uh, down forward two. He's one plus two. It's a launch punish. Yeah, I don't know. I've never used it because it's fifteen frames. Oh, I fought this Paul before, and he's a ten Ryu. Oh yeah, you guys can't see because my chair. Uh, yeah, I've never used because it it's fifteen frame startups. And I'm trying to get moves that come out as fast as possible, you know? Which is funny, because then I'll use a move that's one frame slower, or one frame faster. God damn. Which is uh, 14 frames, my chain punch. Woo! God damn it. I'm getting fucked. Jeez! At least it won't be a perfect! Stop it! Okay. Yeah, that was a triangle one. I'm not sure if you're doing is WS? What's WS? Ow! I'm actually dying right now, what happened? God damn! Oh, he grabbed me out of my parry. Yeah, you saw I was trying to spam that shit. Nope, stop it! Good shit. Hell sweep! No! Ooh, fuck. Oh, while standing. WS is while standing, okay. While, uh, let's see. But while standing means you can get up from crouch state. Um, I don't know if he has any of those. While rising gets confused with while standing. Oh, okay. Understandable. Oh! Yeah, he tried to hit me with the nastiest death punch. Oh, fuck. Damn, I really fell for that one. Oh, I'm not dead? I might as well be. No! Okay. Okay. I fucked up my combo.
Hmm. Oh, that's a launcher! Oh my god! At least it wasn't a perfect! Bro, I'm fighting somebody two ranks above me. God damn! He's in the sweaty tier and he wants to match up again. No, I'm good. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if you're doing... Wild standing moves. It looks like you're good at instant. You're good at instant while rising? Wait, if you're talking about like, uh, uh, do I have an up uh, a rising launcher? That one from Crouch, or this, which then sets up a launch, you know, or this one, which does the same thing. Um, but I'm not sure if I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, excuse me. That's also a crouching. No, it's standing. Hmm. I don't think Leroy has... Hold on. I don't think Leroy has any launches just from neutral. Unless I did this one. Which also, no. Like that one jump kick that Paul does with a... And launch, launches you into the air... I don't have that. Hmm. Two plus one, two. Okay, so punish snake edges with a wall standing. What was a two plus one, two? Right? Are you talking about that move? Or what move are you talking about? Wild snakes. Hold on. Snake eyes or whatever it's called. Give me a second. Let me go to Brian. Wait, 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 wait. First, 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 first. I gotta see. While standing means getting up from a crouch. Okay. So if I'm getting up from a crouch, I should do this one, which I don't do often now. What's the startup frame for this again? 15? Also. Do I need a NASA computer to run Crisis? I don't know the system requirements for Crisis. Um... Okay, hold on. Oh. Delayed toe rice right kick. The fuck is this? Oh. I click and play and the game just crashes. What are your what are your system specs? Let's see this guy's 10 hit comp. Okay, whoa. Nah, bro. How the fuck do I avoid this? Punish house sweeps with while standing too? Oh, while rising. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'd have to... You see, this is it, though. Wait, hold on. 13 frames. I mean, shit, it could work. Oh, wait, you said two. <laughs> I kept on pressing one. My fault. That was my bad. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, was my, that was completely my fault. That was my fault. Sorry, um, let's see. Minus 16. 
can grab out of it. You can launch punish with it. But the thing is, Kazuya has never used the move off rip. They always do it in the middle of the combo to keep the combo flowing. Let's see, RTX 3050, 8GB RAMs, Ryzen 7 5800. Damn. Your Ryzen's even better than mine. I have a 5700. I think that what's fucking you up or what's causing the game to crash is probably the RAM. Maybe it doesn't meet the RAM requirements. Because there's a lot of games out there that now have like 16 gigabyte RAM minimum. You know? Hmm. It's 10... It's minus 10 frames. So the only way for me to really punish it is to jab. Oh, this Alyssa's back to her ranking. Oh, god damn. Damn, these low hits are fucking me up! At least it's not a perfect. Okay, I thought that would hit. Honestly. You're minus on that one. God damn it! You can punish the low slide. You can punish the low slide that she's spamming with the one two. Woo! Okay, my fault. I was paying attention to the. Can punish her low slide with the. Okay. Good to know. With the rising too. All right, I'm gonna do that more often. Didn't mean to throw that out, but I'll take it. Stop it! Jeez. Oh, get blocked. Get grabbed. <laughs> get knocked. Okay, okay, good lord. I got hit regardless? My move came out, but I still got hit. I just tanked through it. And she continued her move. Okay. Oh, because she's airborne, she can't get grabbed. God damn. She that prioritized over my hyper armor move. That's crazy. Literally, literally. So I still get hit. O okay, I guess.
Oh, fuck, I fucked up my combo! Ah, fucked up my- I'm not used to doing the combo from the other side. How do I break out of that grab? Any advice? Duck and punish? Okay, but like, what's the, um, the throw escape? That's what I want to know. And my heat smash didn't come out in time. The most passive... The most passive Alyssa I've seen looks like a 1-2 grab? Yeah, probably. Probably is. You gotta keep mind of that. Okay. I fucked up my combo! God damn it! I fucked up my combo! She just spams that move because she knows it hits. Oh wow, that does way too much damage for a grab, just saying, what? oh you're right, it is a 1-2 grab, and she, That was smart of her to immediately rage. I should have saw that coming. I don't know why I didn't. I should have saw that coming. The moment I broke out of the grab, she probably knew that I was going to go for an attack. Yeah, I should have broke out of the grab, blocked, grabbed, then done my shit. Are there any fighting games on Game Pass? I don't think so. I don't think there are. I'm not sure. You got a lot of potential of becoming a good player. How many hours do you... I think I have like 77 hours. I probably have more now. I probably have more now. Did you play Tekken 7? Nah. I've been playing... I played Tekken 5. Tekken 6. I didn't play Tekken 7 because I didn't have the hardware to handle it. And then I played uh, Here I Am in Tekken 8. Is your chance getting ranked? Did I not block below that? She's airborne, so it doesn't count as a... Nope. Thank God for entering stance on time. Oh my God. I need to stop that actually. I need to... I need to start doing the rise up move a lot more.
Stop it. Okay. Stop. Okay. She blocked high. I expected her to block low. I'm not gonna lie. Caught me off guard. Get countered! Get out of here! Except all, chase none. Nigga thought he was gonna use me as his promotion chance. I really wanna play really right. You can definitely pick him up, he's not a bad kid. He's like, he's shitty, but like, he's not annoying to use. He's actually fun to use. Oh damn! I didn't even notice my health. Okay, should have blocked. The moment I whiffed, I should have blocked. What? It's I press triangle. What? Well, I'm pressing triangle. What's going on? Jeez. Stop it. Uh, was it me or did stream connection mess up for a second? Um, I don't know. I blocked low! What? Okay. I probably rised. I know it's triangle. I literally break out of it. I'm pressing triangle! You're so nasty for spamming this mid-low string. Why did I lose more elo than I gained from the last match? Am I tr it's a 1-2 grab. Yeah, and you break out of those by hope pressing triangle. And I've broken out of it by pressing triangle. But for some reason, every single time I press it, I still get hit by it. Because she ranked up or something? No. Remember, she had the promotion chance, and then I beat her, and she lost a promotion chance. So we're still in the same rank. So I don't know why I lost more elo than I was... I don't know why I lost more elo than that. Than I gained. She didn't even rank up for it, because it wasn't a promotion match. Ooh, I'm fighting a fang. Plus, you gotta press it at the same time. Oh. Yeah, that, that could be it. Mm. I mean, the thing did say he was a throw escape artist. So I'm not surprised. Oh, 
Oh no, the shoulder bash, I'm dead. Alright, good night, man. Get some rest. Hope to see you again next time. Uh, will you be streaming? Yeah, I stream every day. Stop it! He came, uh, his move came out faster than my Heat Smash. Nah, to be honest, I'm no longer relying on Heat Smash. That shit's useless. Look at how much damage that did, by the way. Oh, and he's getting a full combo off of that. Honestly, Heat Smash is one of the more unreliable features in this game. What is this man doing? Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. Counter! Best corner! <laughs> oh shit. All that just to die. Shit, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, yeah. That was an accidental counter. Damn, I'm on the verge of being demoted again. Oh, man. Uh, let's see, this thing watches too many knee gameplay. Yeah, it looked like he was definitely copying his combos off of a pro fighter. So I'm not surprised by that one at all. Hmm. Sidestep down forward one. Three times in a row. Yeah. By the way, what is Fang's sidestep weakness? He stands like this, so it should be sidestep left, right? Or sidestep left, correct? <laughs> sidestep left, right. Um, I, I think it's a sidestep left. And I'm fighting the same Tenryu Paul. Yep, I'm getting demoted. Uh, let's see. Fang's shoulder is minus one or less, I'm not sure. 
God damn. Ain't that just a kick in the pants? I don't know Fang's weak side. I usually determine an enemy's weak side by which hand is in front of me. The f Which hand is in front of me. Like, which hand is closest to me. So, right now, as I'm looking at Paul, most likely, he's sidestepped this way. But I could be wrong. At least it's not a perfect. At least it's not a perfect. God damn. It's just crazy how he can get like combos off. What? This guy can get. He could just get combos off even if they whiff. Like, literally. Holy shit. Got you. God damn! Oh, you've never seen that crap before. Everybody's left hand is closer to you. Oh my god. Round start without fail. Round start without fail. You never saw that one coming! <laughs> uh, let's see, nice clutch here. <laughs> the fact that I was even able to get the dog. I don't know why you chose not to... Uh, I'm so glad Sugar didn't stop right there. I'm so glad. I'm surprised he didn't attack me. It's like... <laughs> Sugar is useless. The most useless projectile in the game. I'm, I'm lucky. <laughs> lucky that guy took me for granted, I guess. That's most likely him. Honestly, the only reason why I summoned Sugar is because I expected to lose. So I was like, hey, let me be a little flashy while I lose, you know? Let me let me take it on the chin with a few trolls. By the way, do you know I only learned yesterday? It was yesterday. I learned yesterday that Leroy's counter, uh, his uh, taunt is a counter. If I can get it out. Yeah, apparently this is a counter. It's like square, circle. Yeah, apparently this is a taunt. It's, it's a taunt that also functions as a counter. Or a parry, not a counter. Never seen it in use, though. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a parry. I don't know, I always call parries counters, but I know counters are a separate thing in the game. Like, every single time I get hit and I hit somebody with a parry, I always scream counter. But it's not a counter, it's a parry. My fault. Just so used to calling them that. I don't even know why. It's just like a force of habit, I guess. Okay. I need to learn new moves. Because the likeliness of me landing a 10 hit combo, while beautiful, unlikely. Me landing that, unlikely. Because unfortunately, <laughs> hold on, let me just set it to like a regular jab. Okay, let's set it to that. I'm not active in chat because I'm kind of sleepy. Just wanted to watch, not type. No, that's completely understandable. Okay, hold on. Okay. I know that the, the startup for the move... Hold on. The startup for the move or some... Yo, chill. It's really 17 frames? What? Really? It's 17 frames? Okay. I did not know that move was 17 frames. Could literally just do anything. Oh, I'm fighting another Fang. Yeah. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Oh my god, this guy's Wi-Fi is shit. <laughs> hey. A win is a win, I guess. Ooh, shoulder. Stream is laggy? It's not laggy. This Wi-Fi is just that bad. <laughs> I fucked up my combo. Woo. <laughs> it's not laggy. It's literally just the game. And he earned all, most of that back. Stream is laggy, I can tell. Huh. Oh, Lord. Okay, I was mashing. But like, my- this- the game itself is incredibly laggy. So if you ex experience any lag, that's where it's coming from. Stay down. I was blocking low, hello? Like sometimes it's street. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what's causing that. He's gonna attack. Oh, get grabbed. Stream freezes occasionally. Huh, I don't know what's the cause. Sweep, yes, sir. <laughs> mm. Oh, 
So that's how the move works. It's two lows. So it's two lows. It's two lows and one high. Low, low, high. Oh. I see. I see. My eyes have been opened. Low, low, high. Okay. Kira, I was the I was so confused by the way the move came out. Slow, low, mid, not high. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, because his body is kind of like squatted, so most likely the attack is gonna be a mid. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, thanks for that one. So low, low, mid. So duck, duck, stand. Fighting Lars. Stop yourself, Sonic the Hedgehog. Attack? Yep. <laughs> Y'all are so predictable. Hell sweep? <laughs> hell sleep. Hell, hell sleep. Hell sweep really does do the job. Countered. Almost. Oh, he's gonna do the. Oh. I expected to get broken through the floor. I'm about to break him through the floor. Yeah, what? My combo didn't finish. Oh, he's gonna break me through the floor. Yep, okay. I was, I was wondering, I was like, where is this combo going? Oh, your combo didn't finish because he was off axis? Oh, okay. That move is faster than 14 frames? You're joking, you're actually lying to me. You're lying to me if you're telling me that that launcher is faster than 14 frames. Oh god. How is that a launcher? How is that a launcher? Good lord! An orbital, whatever it's called. He knocks me so far away, but then he can immediately like speed blitz to me and then do a combo. It's a counter hit launcher? Ah. Okay, I guess. <sighs> you get called out mashing? Yeah, it's because I thought I could punish some of those moves, but apparently not.
Okay, at least I now know which moves I can punish and which ones I can't. Now, fighting large is just a matter of like 50-50. Because whenever he does that dynamic entry thing where he spins and he's low profile, he can either go mid or he can go low. Um, and usually they go low. But it seems like I guess they're getting used to the counterplay. So now they're starting to go mid. Which... Cool, I guess. I gotta keep that in mind. No, but I can't. It's, it really is a 50-50. It's a 50-50. Haven't I fought this thing already? Ain't this the thing that killed me? Oh yeah, it is. It's the, it's the thing that abused me, bruh. No, wait, I beat him. <laughs> I beat him by a thread. Bro, footsies, really? Ugh. Okay, at least it's not a perfect. Uh. He's going to go low. Yep. Footsie sounds silly. It is silly. But that's what I'm facing. That's what it's called, right? Like, what do you call that? When you're, like, constantly, like, dancing around. What is this nigga's Wi-Fi doing? Is that the official name in some games? Yeah, it is. Neutral game, I call it. No, I'm talking about like when they're moving around. What is this guy's Wi-Fi? Literally every single match. And then look, let's say I start getting combos off. The fuck is going on? I have no idea. This nigga is just moving weird. He's still alive. Okay. At least I got one win in. Every single match! He just goes low! This nigga's footsies game is actually impressive. I will say that, though. Uh, I don't think Junior plays Tekken. Uh, that does not look like a low. Oh, damn. No, he's gonna block, he's gonna block! Grab, yeah. I threw that up by mistake. And he kicked me on top of that? Wow. Block. <laughs> <laughs> no key we can play it takes two i don't think i have that oh it's on the xbox game pass yeah it is it was on sale ten dollars on playstation oh yeah we can also play through that I, ever since i got a pc i've constantly been thinking about like games on how much they cost on steam Thought you had it already? It takes two? I think I do. Shit. I'm, I'm, I know I'm account sharing it with someone, I just don't know who. 
So I'd have to check their account. Or all the accounts that I'm account sharing with. That's some good damage. Oh, okay. This is 16 frames. I don't know how I feel about that. So it's mid high or mid high low. Wait. Mid high, low high, or mid high, low high. I don't know, I'll see. King Zay says it's me or stream. Is it me or just stream laggy sometimes? Like visually laggy. Like it's visually laggy or is it just like auditorily laggy or some shit like that? Oh, I'm fighting a Kazia. Guaranteed, I'm gonna get like hell swept like crazy. Wait, this is a demotion match for me? Oh, damn. And he's. Here we are. Blame King of Fighters, man. I need to. Yeah, that move always gets me. That move will always get me. That spin move? Ugh, that slow spin kick. I can see this stream in like slow motion. Oh my god. Well, time to get demoted. Didn't even know you could do that. You're adding new moves for Kazuya every day. That's not gonna hit. Why would he throw it out there? I'm assuming it's a miss input. What's the point of a parry if the parry doesn't parry? What's the point of a parry if the parry doesn't parry? And he can laser off of that? It's like I try to parry and then my parry Okay, I tried to hit, uh, whiff it and then do my heat smash, but it didn't come out. It came out too slow. 15 frames is really not reliable. I low-key see what you mean when you say that move was useless. <laughs> 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 
That was a perfect? Goddamn. I'll take it. Ah, oh, going for the grab. Oh, shit. Was that because it was a counter hit? Why does my... Oh my god, the stream is so laggy, my... He did his... Uh, okay. Oh, that's why. I avoided... <laughs> avoided getting demoted. He avoided getting promoted. I fucked up my combo because of the wife... The signal is just so janky. Like, literally, I'm trying to do this, this, then end it off with that. That's all I want. But sometimes, I get fucked up, and then I can't, I can't do my combo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, that works. Apparently, this is also a parry, which is, uh, let me go to my movements. I know it's like down back, or yeah, it's this one. Has a parry effect, partially restores heat time. Okay. That's the case. I want to try something. If it has a parry, I want to try something. What? Oh. Okay. Although the timing has to be impeccable. Impeccable. So I guess round start. If somebody throws this out, if somebody throws out a regular attack, it parries a, a jab, and a jab is. 10 frames. I think we have a new move to try out, boys. I think we have a new move to try out. Against the Devil Gym. Great. Woo. Oh! oh. <laughs> it works! It works! <laughs> Oh man. Hell sweep. This man flew on wake up. Oh lord, oh lord. What? You know, that's what I don't understand. He's literally shooting it towards the heavens. He is shooting it towards the heavens. And yet my, my feet get clipped. How? I have no idea. I hate fighting devil jins. 
They just spam. Stop it. Trying to fly backwards on wake up. Disgusting work. Disgusting work. Trying to fly on wake up. Okay. Just hate devil gins. Okay, he blocked low. He blocked low. I don't know. I tried to throw out a move. People just playing the game. True, you're not wrong either. That's the crazy part. That's the bothersome part. I could have hell sweeped him there. Oh my lord. Flying on wake up. Ugh. 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 Nasty. He flew on wake up to hit me with the laser, and I tried to sidestep, but for some reason, Leroy was spam ducking. Oh my goodness. Huh. But it seems like the counter works. Surprisingly enough, it's gonna match me against the same devil G. <laughs> I was surprised. And it's a heat smash. It's a heat engager, too. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The dog in heat. That sounds weird. Thank you. The dog in heat is a launcher. <laughs> <laughs> the dog in heat is actually a launcher. What? Mm -hmm. I guess it's for the memes. I do wish this game would let you know who you're matching up with before you decide to match up with them. You know? So that I don't get paired up with people who are just exceedingly uh, higher than me in ranking. It's just, yeah. Or so I don't end up fighting the same person over and over. Like, if I want to fight the same person over and over, I'd create a room. I'd actually just create a session. So, yeah. We'll watch this while the thing loads. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Thank you for the bless yous. Who am I going to be? Zafina! Wait, I've fought the Zafina before. You see what I mean? The problem of facing the same people over and over? And this Zafina is actually pretty good. That's the problem I had with her the last time. She was a bit too good. Hmm. God damn. I wish I could play somebody more than two games in ranked. Oh, that is not me though. That is not me. Oh, 
Oh shit. Holy shit! Oh, Again, I've fought the Zafina before, so it makes sense that she knows that once I'm in the stance. Cause I always go low, so I now now she's kind of like learned that oh this court is gonna go low. That was a mistake. I've never, I've never used the low cane against this one. Actually, I don't use it in general, right? Because I have this. But I never use it. Even though it's, it's a combo starter. Like, I always go for this one. Cause it's like launches much higher, makes it much easier to um, combo. And then I'd be like, nope. Yeah, but usually it's like stick. I I, I poke forward and knock them up instead of the sweep upwards. I'd never use that. Let's see. Let's see if I can do the down forward move. Ah, used a counter on me. Smart. Why are Perry? Huh? Why are you calling Perry's account? It's just a force of habit. <laughs> why, bro? Why is this Yoshimitsu forcing me to? Oh. Why is this Yoshimitsu forcing me to be a defensive character? Where did that habit come from? Beats me. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer. Because I don't know myself. I don't know. Round three. Fight. Ah, smart. Never seen that move from Yoshi.
Oh, thank you. Wait, we're not side switched yet. Oh, that is not fair, bro. Yes, sir! Hell sweep! Yeah. How about I be on the defensive for this round? Never mind. Because you're just too much of a bitch to do it. What? This ain't good. Okay. Final round. Fight. Now I know I blocked slow. I know I blocked low. Oh, fuck. I threw that out by mistake. I pressed the input by mistake. I hope I don't lose enough. Yeah, I know the grab. Yeah, he tried to do the, the parry. Oh, I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to make sure that I stay in the corner so he could continue abusing me. I see your moves. Round two. Tried to do the grab. I saw that one too. Such a nice. That is a lot of range. That is a lot of range. That is a lot of range. Okay, good one. Round three. Fight. Why did I immediately go into- Oh, it's because I did a dash kick. How did he know I was gonna go for the low? For the hell sweep? I guess intuition.
That is a very fast parry, I can't even lie. Yoshimitsu's parry is scary impressive. The speed at which it comes. Ha! How does he know? When I go higher or low, is Leroy that predictable? His parry startup is eight frames. What? Holy shit! That's thirteen. Eight frames. Leroy does not have a single counter that is that powerful. It can hit you even if you're not attacking but just close to it. Yeah, I've seen Yoshimitsu's do combos where they're like, uh, when they do a ground break, they'll do a combo, then they'll parry and it'll hit you and then continue. Eight frames and it can hit you even if you aren't attacking. That's what bothers me. Like this, this parry... This parry is also a poke. 13 frame though. It's a 13 frame poke. And then... If it's a counter, it becomes a parry. Right? Yoshimitsu doesn't need that. He has a... Nah, I'm not gonna lie. They need to nerf that. They need to nerf that. Why is it so broken? Who? Whose bright idea was it? Broken ass ability. We got life, you know what I'm saying? Should we all chill and we in chat, you know? We wouldn't be here without- It's not a parry, it's a counter hit. One that ragdolls- you. No, it doesn't ragdoll you. But it does like nasty shit to you. And it also restores his health. Which also makes it suck even more. Because he restores health from it. The ejaculation. What? Instead of hate, we just move on and just, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know, I understand I came from a back shot. So I'll pull it up one more time. All of us boys in here, this is where we came from. How to conceive a boy, deep penetration. For example, doggy style means the male sperm that can swim faster start their race closer to the cervix and more likely to reach the egg first resulting in a boy hello chat oh i mean oh not yoshi's leroy's one yeah 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 his counter is uh or his parry is a counter hit it's not just a regular like it's a poke on its own a 13 frame poke which is kind of ass it's a 13 frame poke and then if it counter hits then it becomes a parry Yoshi can just say, fuck you, and recover health. To try to conceive a girl, Shadow suggested avoid deep penetration, favoring the missionary position. So the beta position, like I said, all of you guys are like, they cry in between a woman's legs. <laughs> Keisha, oh, Rebecca. <laughs> if you want to have a boy, you can't call it a parry? Really? Shit, I always call it like a perfect parry. No, like, to be fair, the perfect parry is the one where he does this, and then when he does this, it like sparks a little purple. Just does an animation with counter hit. Hmm. I guess? I just call it a parry because it punishes, it punishes an aggressive attack and redirects it, right? Like he's lifting up your leg. So I've always considered a counter. This is also a counter, a parry. Consider it a parry. I also consider this one a parry. But I have to get hit for this one. That's what a counter hit does. 
So does Asuka not have counters? She only has counter hits? Or... Asuka doesn't have parries. She only has counter hits. Or Jin. Because Jin also has that parry. The one where she like... Uh, tai Chi rolls you to her side. Is that considered a counter hit? Or is that considered a parry? Hmm. It's a parry? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, to you, what differentiates a parry and a counter? Like, what differentiates a parry and a counter hit? Hold on, let me look for it. it is a counter hit and it throws when it hits you throw when it hit from the front on the ground you fool. Huh. Asuka and Jin only parry huh. Parry is when an enemy is hitting you and you parry that. But it still gives them an opportunity to block. Because I've had moments where I parried somebody, right? So I parry them, and then after I parry them, I try to punish it with the attack. And they block it. I did not know that was possible to block Leroy's parry. Until I fought a Brian Fury. And all of a sudden, no. <laughs> Okay, parry is when you're uh, when the enemy is hitting you and you parry it. Counter hit is when you hit an enemy sooner than they hit you. Okay, so parry is on time, and counter hit is before. Okay, I get it. I get it. Thanks. It's probably why you know what I'm saying. Like, be careful. Back shots only for the consumption of boys. If you don't care, go ahead, let a chick ride you, reverse cowgirl, missionary, whatever. Did I see Axe tweet? Uh, the one with the Drake shit? Or is there another one I should be looking at? Get ready for the next battle. A dragon off. Okay. His name is Who's Next? Oh, brother. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Hell sweep. Okay. I did not mean to do that move. Never done it before in my life. I hate that dragon off move so bad. That grab is so infuriating. I get the nastiest smile on my face 
every single time somebody attacks me and you I counter with the low. Weak. No. Get ready for the next battle. They just attack. Oh, weak. <laughs> counter. I love that so much. Didn't expect you to be on this long. I will say. <laughs> the only reason why I'm not going insane today. Uh, you have a good game, eh, I guess. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying I'm not going insane today compared to yesterday is because of chat. I will, I will say that. I very much appreciate uh, his company. Fuse. How do you pronounce it? Fuse? 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 But yeah, I'll say the only reason why I'm not going insane in this game right now is because of your company. Because again, you're helping me with the game. So anything that is considered bullshit, you can kind of explain. Cause I don't know man, sometimes I'll be getting hit by some bullshit. Just like Fuse? Okay. Alright. Like sometimes I'll be- oh Fuzi? Oh like Fuzi too. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sometimes I'll be getting hit- uh, get- getting hitting. Sometimes I'll be getting hit by some bullshit in this game. And it's nice to have somebody explain why I got hit by that bullshit. Rather than to be like, oh, it is what it is. I guess this game is just fucked, you know? That's the only reason why I'm not going insane right now. Get ready for the next battle. Makazia. Most likely I'm going to have to expect a lot of uh, hell sweeps. Round one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Ever since I find out that was a thing, I appreciate it very much. Oh, hell sweep! Oh, Ooh, I looked up my hell sweep. Oh shit! That move will always get me. Always. Oh, that's a low. Oh! I'm about to get the nasty heat smash. Oh my lord. Yeah, that move will always get me. Always. No matter how often I play this game, that move will always get me. I did not know he could chain immediately after he did that combo. Good to know. Fight. Oh my god, that move will always get me. And he just low profiles all my attacks. Oh my game, bro. Round four. Fight. Low profiles. Any hell sweeps. You grab! How did I? I was on the side. How did I get grabbed? Okay. You lose. I was on his side. How did I get grabbed? What in the fuck is that tracking? 
This is genuinely Soul Calibur 6 tracking. Soul Calibur 6 grab tracking. That, excuse me, that combo is minus two. Hey man, that guy pulls that shit out real quick. I can't lie. Because like even when I try to punish it with the um, regular jab, he then low profiles it to do the back what whatever it's called. And a lot of Kazuyas do it too. A lot of Kazuyas love to do it, and yet I still fall for it every time. Ugh, I'm fighting John Cena. Round one. Fight. Perfect parry. Love it. Bro. I hate that grab so much. This guy punched me. Oh. He punched me in the dick. Round two. Fight. Oh shit, I fucked up my combo. Huh. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. That knee grab is a, called the Shining Wizard Break with 1 plus 2. Okay, heard you. The RKO. Stop it. Uh. I tried to low that. I saw the animation. But okay. What? And he fucking dug his face in my crotch. I don't think I'll be leaving Garyu for a while. By the way, I remember when you uh, playing Rainer versus you, you said you can't break her grab. So just know that her grab... Huh? Her grabs out of stance are unbreakable. So that grab where she like electrocutes you, that's unbreakable? Oh, brother. Ain't that lovely to know. <laughs> Ain't that valuable piece of information. Gonna pair me up against the same king, guaranteed. Watch, watch. Yep, the same king. How isn't this a demotion match? Look at the damage. Why does king do so much damage? Might as well perfected me. I blocked up. I blocked up. I saw. I knew. I knew. But I got... Okay. No, 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 no. No. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm dead. This game is full of shit sometimes. Oh my 
god! How long did I? And then I'm gonna get that air grab. Okay, he didn't RKO like I thought he would. <sighs> now I'm at a demotion. Like, I truly don't understand how I get grabbed sometimes. Like, I, I genuinely don't understand. Like, I know what the grab is, I know how to break out of the grab, and I'll still get grabbed. Maybe it's because I'm in the middle of, like, it's a counter hit grab? I don't know. Maybe that's it? But... I truly don't understand. Like in the last match, with, uh, when I was fighting that one Kazuya, how did that Kazuya grab me? That Kazuya was facing one direction, I was here, he grabbed up and I just teleported in his hand. Flew up and I got thrown down. Uh, so okay, so since my sleep schedule is fucked, I won't be able to sleep today at all. Trust me, I know how you've- and it's making me fight the same fucking king. Again. Look at him just spamming the move. And RKO. And he just regains all his health back. And the R what's worse is that the RKO is unblockable. Like. How beautiful is that? That the RKO is unblockable. I can't break out. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <sighs> I'm gonna block this king. Oh shit, he's he Oh I uh, thought he was rolling death and his his had priority. Uh, okay. And he just has all the parry I ducked. I ducked. I know I ducked. I know I ducked and I still got grabbed. Holy fucking shit. Why are you blocking them? Because I'm ducking. Look, look. I, I, you see when he did that, um, the last grab that he did. Oh, the one where he spun me around. What I'm doing is I'm down back. I'm down back whenever he throws that move at me. But somehow I get grabbed and I get tossed and that move is unbreakable. Once you're in it, you can't get out. So fuck me, I guess.
I think Garyu is just where I'm supposed to be. That's the rank I'm supposed to stay at. Oh, why are you blocking them? Because I'm tired of getting matched up with the same people over and over. That's why I block them. So I don't have to re-fight them again. Because, like, I, this game will constantly match me up with the same person up to four times. I remember I matched up with one guy five times in a row. So, yeah. I just don't want to match with them again. I want to fight other people, not the same people over and over. Ooh, damn. Oh, it's because I, I, I expected a grab. Did not know that I had a follow-up. Blocking them is not making them disappear from match search? I mean, for me it is. Because I, I don't fight them after I block them. I never see them again after I block them. So... I don't know. Oh my. Oh my. That was a heat smash. Just a coincidence? I don't know. Maybe. May might be a coincidence, but I never see them again afterwards. So. To me, that lets me know that, oh, the blocking is actually working. Ugh, I was mashing there. That was my fault. He had a follow-up. I did not know he had a follow-up from that. Especially that follow-up. I'm gonna hop on Leroy in the morning, alright. Yeah, this is gonna be a perfect. Okay, not a perfect. Great. My move didn't come out. I think I'm gonna make a video on how to rank up with him. Alright. Oh my lord. He always breaks out of it.
Stop it! Okay. Hmm. Uh, I hope you'll watch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll most likely watch it. Yeah, because Jin is plus on every fucking attack. Every attack, Jin is plus. Do you know how cool that is? Like, it's, a, it's just fantastic. When Jin is plus on every hit. Stop mashing after you got hit. Yeah, I know, especially when I'm fighting somebody like Jin. I understand. Right, because Jin is plus on everything. So I have to wait my turn when I'm fighting him. Unfortunately. Hmm. Mm. What? That didn't even touch me. I'm gonna just assume it was the rollback. That's why. That's why. It was rollback. Yeah. It was rollback. There's no other reason why that should have hit me. That there's no other reason why that should have hit me. But it was rollback. I'm a, that's that's the assumption I'm gonna take. Oh, the wrong move came out. Okay, at least it's not a perfect. At least it's not a perfect. That's all I can say, and that's all I'm happy about. Fuck. And I fucked up my combo. Jump is how I hate when people do it. Mashing? Mashing is just a habit, right? That everybody develops. I don't know where we all develop the mashing habit, but we all have it. And it's more like, oh, we have to break out of it. Holy shit! He hit me out of my heat smash. He just brute forced through my heat smash. He's just brute forcing through my heat smash. 
Which is an interesting concept. Hmm. Uh, well, there goes my promotion chance. Yeah, Jin is plus on everything. Plus on everything. Literally everything. Except for his low kick and that one backflip kick that he does. How do you, as a Leroy, who's minus on almost everything, fight somebody who's plus on everything, on block? You lost the last round because you were trying to parry your plus frames? No, those parries were coming out by mistake. I wasn't trying to parry with them. Sometimes that happens when I try to press triangle, right? But because I was holding block previously, then the inputs are the same, right? Then it considers it as a back, tr uh, back plus triangle. Which is the parry. So I was trying to like do this move. I was just trying to do this move. But again, because I was holding block. Then parry comes out when I hit the triangle thing. Because I never let go of the, the D-pad. I never like lifted my finger off of it. It happens so often too, where I want to throw out a move and the wrong move comes out because I'm holding the D-pad. Five times in a row, yep, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Because again, this is 12 frames. So I was trying to get this out because Jin was constantly trying to like get in my face and this seemed to be effective. Plus it leaves me plus on, I think it leaves me plus something on block. Or it leaves me like zero on block. So then I usually, hold on. Oh, it leaves me minus seven on block? Okay. But either ways, I usually just block afterwards. Right, it creates enough distance to put us at neutral, then I can go back to block. That's why I constantly like just th throw it out. But then because I'm holding back, expecting Jin to immediately throw out some nasty moves, then it starts countering. Or sometimes even if I press L2, right, if I press this button, hold on, let's say I'm trying to heat smash, right, because I press L2 to heat smash, and I try to hold back, sometimes, sometimes it parries. Sometimes it heat smashes, sometimes it parries. And sometimes I try to throw out a heat smash, and it parries. Then I'm like, oh, shit, parry, by mistake. I just don't scream out every single time it's a miss input anymore, or as often as I used to. I just get frustrated, <laughs> internally frustrated, I'm like, Ugh, here we go again. You can bind the heat button? I do, I have it bind, but the thing is, this controller doesn't... Like, when I was playing on my other controller, the PlayStation controller, it was binded to the left anal- the right analog stick. But this doesn't have a right analog stick. It's only left. So, now my analog is relegated to my, um, Rage Art. So, I, that means I need to rebind. I need to rebind this thing. Why does this feel like an, uh, a smurf account? A Shinryu Kuma. That means if I win this, I get promoted. If I lose this, I lose a lot of elo. I don't think I'm gonna reach Shinryu anytime soon. I'm not gonna reach Shinryu anytime soon, unfortunately. 
Oh lord! What? Uh, okay. I tried to grab him and he just whipped whipped around. So you lose and get less points. Lich oh my god. How do I fight Kuma? Kuma is at genuinely a knowledge check. Oh my god. Into ass hit too. Okay. Okay. The fuck happened there? Oh my god, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't it if an opponent is higher ranking than you? You both did armor, I know. But mine came out faster, so he tanked mine and then his came out later. But I was saying, what what the hell happened? Because the frames were dropping insanely when the, that move was coming out. If both opponents, if the opponents is higher ranking than you, then you both lose and gain less points. I thought you gained more for beating somebody who was higher than you. It's not balanced that way, unfortunately. And I'm fighting the same Kuma, too. Like, I'm gonna get knocked down two ranks at this point. Just sickens me. Okay. Can try finding higher ranks on purpose to rank higher. I wish. Ah, he jumped over it. Cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. I fucked up my combo.
Oh. Well. Like, I remember when I fought the Tekken King. Right? I fought somebody who was Tekken King rank. And after fighting them, I didn't gain as much elo as I thought I would, considering he was 10 ranks above me. I don't know, I think the elo system is definitely broke. The uh, definitely broken. It could use some work. Minus 26? God damn. If it's that- no, I'm not matching up, it's most likely the Kuma again. So no, I don't want to match up with the Kuma again. Minus seven. Plus one. Zero. See, this is- This on block? This on block is pretty safe, cause it sets me- Sets us both back to neutral. This one's plus one, don't have any move that has 11 frames, so no point. Watch it be the same Kuma for the third time in a row. Wrap it up, let's do it. Same Kuma. Now you understand why I block people. I'm not trying to fight the same. I want to fight different people. A plethora of people. I want to explore. I don't want to be stuck fighting the same person all the time. Uh, of course his came out first, or his has priority. Hello, I pressed triangle. Okay. Hmm. And his has priority because it came out last. Oh, there goes my heat smash. How? What? Uh? I was blocking low, but that threw me up into the sky. Can you stop what? Calling, um, Power Crush's hyper armor? I mean, that's what it is. Just go, I just call it something different. Because in every other game, it's called Hyper Armor. So it's just something that I've gotten used to. What? Okay. I was blocking low! Uh, can you stop saying this? The other thing? Oh, the priority thing? His one got more priority. I mean, mine is faster, right? So, of course, his is going to have priority if it comes out last. That's what I mean.
Because I'm fighting a giant bear, I can't... I can't tell what moves are, like, mids and what moves are lows. I don't know what happened there. Oh my. Say, and there we go again. Fuck. Shut up about it already. Hey, it's an annoying thing about this game. Did I not? Okay. It's an annoying thing about this game, so obviously I'm gonna complain. I blocked high. Oh. Wow. Ain't that dandy. Ain't that cool. Hello, blocking low, is that a thing? Of course. That's on me. I just hate when com people complain about a lot. I mean, people would complain less if there were just less annoying mechanics about something, you know? Like, when I think of a move that has hyper armor, right? And it comes out. I would expect the one that was the faster one to win. Because I hit you first. Not... I expect you to hyper armor my hyper armor and then you win. Don't play the game if you don't like it. Trust me. I'm not going to play it for long. I'm waiting until Eddie comes out. See how I feel about Eddie. And if Eddie disappoints me, if he's not um, working to my expectations, then I just delete the game. You know? It actually reminds me of that one tweet made by the, um, don't know if I'll be able to find it. But it was that one tweet about, it was like a pro player complaining about the mechanics of, um, Tekken 8. And why this game is fundamentally worse than the other ones. Uh, let me find it. See if I can find that video. I think it was like Power Crushes. Because uh, I remember this sparked up a huge discussion. It was a Tekken one. He launched me during my heat burst, which has Power Crush properties. Am I missing something or is this a bug? Okay, no, not that one. Excuse me. Somebody just made a... Okay. Who was that discussion... That uh, message by? I know it was definitely one. See, okay, this is actually broken. She rolled through my power crush, taking zero damage. Oh, this is Nina versus Zhao Yu. Okay. Let's see, Leo's back 1 plus 4 stops power crushes and gives him a free down forward 2 launch. Really? Well, damn. 
<laughs> Somebody was like, lost to Power Crush Spam again. Oh, I'm fighting a, a powerful law. Oh, I found the tweet. I found the tweet. Hold on. After this match... After this match... Alright, just get him to back the fuck up a little bit. Don't think I've ever seen that grab before, so it's most likely an R a one plus two. Most likely a one running a one plus two. Oh. What's the point of a parry if you can just go through it? That was a mistake, parry! And I'm dead. Yep. What's the point of a parry if you can just punch through it? Yep, it's a plus one plus two. That's a one plus two grab. Okay. Heat smash. Uh, if a character is grabbing you with two hands, it's most likely a one plus two. Yeah. That one, if it's one arm, then it's just one or two. I thought it was vice versa. Good to know. Anyways, uh, let's see. The tweet here. So it was by a pro player named Ar Arjun Ash. Four-time EVO champion. Okay. Still streaming, yeah? Oh, it's been five hours. Yeah, I better stop recording the live streams before... I better stop recording the live stream before I run out of space. But yeah, this four-time Tekken champion, EVO champion, his tweet was, Tekken 8... Oh. God, it's the same Yoshimitsu again. Tekken 8 would be like, Heat Burst, Heat Smash, Power Crushes, Heat Engagers, Throws, that's it. Question mark? Seriously, why do you even bother giving each character a variety of moves? He's got a point. Ah. He sucks in Tekken 8? I mean, if he's an 8-time... Eight 8-time eight EVO champion? I don't know. I think I'll take his opinion a little bit more... Seriously, you know? I'd rather listen to Phil Fid DX. I know who you're talking about. Uh, the Asian guy. <laughs> I can't, that's the best way. Ooh. And he gets a gets a full combo off of that. Hmm. 
In Tekken 7, he was winning, yes. I mean, doesn't make... Again, if he's a pro player, I don't think I would, like, invalidate his opinion based on stuff, you know? Like, if you've been playing Tekken for a minute, and you're a pro at it, and you jump into the new installment of the game, and there are blatant uh, problems, then I wouldn't be quick to dismiss the, the complaints, you know? I is feed fids fix. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I know who you're talking about. Uh, let's see, he's more passionate about the game and is giving good guides for new players. I agree. Just like uh, the main man Swede, uh, the main man Sweden. Uh, that's a low. Okay, the the main man Swede. Of course. Uh, what is this? Can't focus. Not surprised. Uh, he's also, like, very passionate about the game. I think he's been playing Tekken for 27 years. But, like, even he has complaints about the game. And it's like, come on. You know? Okay, that's my fault. I'm just playing into his hands. Main man was always salty. I mean, he's still good at the game. Like, this game definitely, undoubtedly deserves criticisms. It has its criticisms. Like, you can enjoy the game, be passionate about the game, but also recognize that, yeah, it does have its problems. And, um, yo. It's gonna miss. Oh, it hit? Okay. Unfortunate. I got little problems with the game yet. <laughs> You're better than me, my friend. You're better than me. I honestly can't help but roll my eyes. Every single time he does it, I can't help but roll my eyes. Oh my god, I did not know the whiffing animation was that punished. Okay, faster than Heat Smash. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie at this rate, I'm gonna get D ranked twice. I'm gonna go down two rankings. Is what it is. But yeah, let me re-read this. Okay, and then Sir Nature. I don't know who Sir Nature is. But I guess he's just some random person. He's like, what I don't understand is they want aggression, but not the defense to protect yourself from it. They should make low parries actually be dangerous again if you land one. I'd love an extra bound. Uh, let's see, literally everyone past Tekken King is either Reyna, Victor, Huarang, Jin, or Devil Jin. Oh, it, it, there's more. Oh yeah, okay. The very, uh, the very least, increase the timing on it for the low parries, that's what he's referred to. And reduce damage or something else, especially with these damn rollback and delay frames. I'll be one of the chosen? What are you talking about, one of the chosen? Oh, uh, is anybody past Tekken King? Okay. Somebody responded, lol, dying to low parry when generic down fours. What is this, down fours? That's down fours? Down f wait. Okay. Down fours are minus 15, makes no sense. We have the defensive options, you just don't want to lab and practice them. No one's mentioned dying to low parries. I said buff them, not nerf them. 
And then somebody responded, also chip damage makes this game even more toxic. Oh, you're handling the opponent's offense? And whether in the storm? Take damage for it anyways. You're not wrong. I remember fighting a Feng Wei. And this Feng Wei was just wailing on me. I was defending every single attack that he threw out. But by the second I realized that I had weathered the storm, I had lost half of my health to chip damage alone. That was insane. I was like, what? What? This is the game we're playing. 50% of my health to chip damage only. I was like, nah. Nah, nerfing. I was like, no ways. Absolutely nerf the fuck out of this character. Nope. Okay. That is a follow up. I don't care about anyone that's complaining. It's me and my opinion. Agreed. To each their own, you know? I wasn't even in range and I still got clipped. That's definitely one thing I hate about this game. The hitboxes. There's sometimes I will get hit by an attack that I shouldn't have. There's sometimes I will hit a person with an attack that they shouldn't have gotten hit by. And we just kind of like move on with our life. It's like, that's it, I guess. It's like, I don't enjoy it when I hit somebody with something they shouldn't get hit by. So I feel like I'm cheating. Oh, damn. This is a really good Brian Fury, I will say. Oh, that's a mid, even though it's a launcher that looks like it would be a low. Oh, he even did the taunt. Yeah, this Brian definitely knows what he's doing. I will say I'm impressed. I blocked low, hello? I didn't even mash, I blocked low. Okay. <sighs> okay. That was weird. Yeah, that's also another complaint I'd have about the game. When I know I'm not mashing, I will literally let go of this entire side of my controller, where all my, my mash commands are. And I will block, either I'm block standing, and it's a mid attack, I'll block standing, or I'll crouch block, and I'll still get hit. And, because it's this game, most of the time it will be a launcher, right? I'll get hit by the launcher. Which then leads into a full combo, I lose like half of my health or I die because of it. I'm like, I know I blocked it. I know, I press the inputs to block it and I still get hit. I've fought this warring before. Fight me, bitch. Yeah, I've fought him before. Hey, he's changed his outfit. Why did you sprint? I tried to... Yeah? Because all you whorings think the same. Fair. Okay, impressive. 
This is, I'm just not used to fighting a defensive Huarang. Oh, damn. I'm not used to fighting a defensive Huarang, I'm just used to them, like, wailing on me. Yep. Love the frame advantages. Yep. Whoa, whoring on this rank? What do you mean? Okay. Good lord. Stop it. Oh, fuck. Uh, they play a hard character and don't know how to play against others. Is Warring a hard character? Maybe I need to pick him up again. I don't know, is Warring a hard character? When they say hard character, do you mean like hard to learn or hard to fight against? Warring is hard to learn. Huh. God damn. If you say the opposite, you're a liar? Eh. Like, a, a character I find hard to learn is Leo. Like, Leo, hard to learn. Whoring? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. I don't know. I don't think quarrying is hard to learn. But maybe I need to go back to uh, go into practice mode and actually see. But like for the most part, maybe... Like, since Tekken 5, I've never really seen him as a hard-to-learn character. Pick him up? I did plan to pick him up, and then I realized how scummy he was. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna drop him and I'm gonna just save myself from Eddie. Oh. This is the aggression I expect of the average Huarang. That's the aggression I expect from a regular Huarang. Not this guy. This guy is oddly defensive. And he's a scrubby character? Hey, I doubt he would be in Tekken 8. And scrubbier than Huarang is nuts. Scrubbier than Huarang... Law? Actually, not as much. Law is mash friendly. He's mash friendly, but I wouldn't call him scrubby.
beautiful. Like, the reason why I chose Leroy, I love Wing Chun. I love the martial arts. I love the fighting styles. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, it's one of my favorite fighting styles of all time. So, that's why I picked up Eddie. I'm not Eddie. Uh, Leroy. Because he uses Wing Chun, and he's black. <laughs> okay. Need a little bit of representation here. And then, with Eddie, I chose Eddie because Capoeira is my favorite fighting style of all time. Out of every single martial arts on Earth, Capoeira is my favorite. I've loved Capoeira since I... S ever since I picked up Tekken 5, actually. When... No, Eddie's not out yet. He's not out yet. Um, yeah, I've been using... Eddie and Capoeira and like I've always found fascination with it ever since Tekken 5 when I was using Christy Christy Montero I was like hey I love this martial arts it looks so cool it's dancing but it's also fighting and then I looked into the history of it and I'm like this martial arts is cool so then Eddie became my favorite character <laughs> he became my favorite character so when Tekken 8 comes out I'm getting Eddie and I'm like use him I love that I love it I'm using him just for the Capoeira But I wouldn't say he's scummy. Eddie? Again, I will say though, I will be very open in saying, Eddie is user-friendly. For sure. Eddie, Law, Huaring, they're user-friendly. Where, let's say you just picked up the character. Very easy to pick them up and, I guess, spam your way to victory. They are, for sure, they, those are like the top three easiest characters to pick up for newcomers. Because they're just like, especially Eddie, because he's like very agile, very mobile, he's very fluid. Let's look at this guy's combo challenges. Is that easy to launch? Really? Is that easy to launch? Wow, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I would have to, like, shift a bit closer first. Oh, it's a... Okay. I already know what move it is. I've faced enough whorings to deal with that problem. Yep. 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 That's so weird to side switch like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, because I'm doing down forward. Oh. I pressed circle twice, my fault. That was my fault. There we go. Hmm. And then obviously then you go ch 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 okay. There we go. Wow, rising. Left flamingo, left flamingo, right... Oh! Left flamingo, right flamingo. Okay. I guess. Okay. Oh, saying move forward. I'm thinking, like, when it's black, it means hold forward. Just, like, tap forward. All right. And then, okay. I 
hate it when like I know the input and I'm just misinputting it. Like there's something going on between what I'm looking, my brain, and what I'm analyzing. There we go. Oh. Don't mash. There we go. I guess I have to do it while they're still in the air. Let's see. Wait, what? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, so it's after they land. All right, cool. Brother. Brother! And then, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Am I tweaking? They hit the floor, but they bounce. So I guess it's on the bounce? God damn it. Can you input correctly, controller, please? Thank you. The hell? Hold on. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, now you want to work. Okay. I forgot to wait for the bounce. Yeah, you wait for the bounce and then you attack. There we go. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, these button inputs are fairly simple. Like, yeah, it's taking me a while to put them in, right? But like, these button inputs are fairly simple. It's like, oh yeah, you have to keep in mind, oh, during the left flamingo, right flamingo, but like, if you're doing a combo, it flows into itself. It flows into this left or right that you need. Of course, more complex combos won't really be found here, but right now, fairly simple. I think the only character who was easier to pick up in terms of here was... Who? Actually, who would I say was easier to pick up? I forgot who I've tried in these things. Because I know I've tried Leo, I've tried well, trying Quarang, Paul, Law, Leroy, I think Jin or Kazuya? I forgot who. So yeah, I don't remember who's the easiest for me. Oh, okay. Wait. There's a- at the end, during right flamingo, that means you have to land, right? Yeah, okay. Figured as much. Aha. Uh -huh. That's how you do it. Just timing. Timing is the important thing. Timing is the most important thing for this combo. There we go. It's forward neutral. Down diet. Oh. I'm treating it like another move, that's why.
Forward, neutral. There we go. Because I kept on pressing forward afterwards. Like down, diagonal, forward, forward. That's what I was pressing. I need to stop at the diagonal. There we go. Light. Oh, okay. Okay. It's ba ba no. Ba, 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 forgot to hold forward afterwards. Ba, 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 forgot to hold forward afterwards. Ba, 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 there we go. Hello? Okay. Ba 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 When I put the input in it's like no you didn't actually put the input. I'm like the fuck? Okay. It's always the dash dash forward moves that get me. Even with like Leroy's move. Uh, with Leroy's skill set. Like it does get me. Whenever it says like, uh, do the sprint moves where it's like dash, hold, do a move, and it's always circle too, it's like that. That always gets me. I don't know why either. Forgot to hold. God damn it. God damn me. But I was doing the combo. I guess he mustn't touch the ground before I like launch him. Cause I held it early. Oh, that was my fault, I forgot to hold. It's so hard to see with this microphone in the way. It's hard to see the keybinds at the, at the corner. Like I'm just kind of like guessing what the inputs are based on the microphone's uh, positioning. Or what makes sense. And I forgot to hold. Forgot to hold again. Clementine. Man, I can't wait to continue The Walking Dead. Had so much fun with that series. Oh, he must have already hit the floor, that's why. God damn it. Always the dash kick that gets me. 
And then when I get it, I don't hold. Literally. <laughs> like I said, whenever I get it, I don't hold. There we go. My dumbass. <laughs> it's it's fine. Oh, there's eleven challenges. I thought there were ten. Okay. Um. Do do. One, two, three, four. Bro, why don't you kick at the end? I'm so curious. It's like, do the launch. The end of the move. Okay. I think this game's acting like it's doing something I'm not doing. Because I'm holding early now. I held that time. Da, ba, ba. I waited for him to hit the ground. My fault. I jumped for some reason. I... I wish I could see my own button inputs to see where I'm going wrong because I'm like, it's easy enough. Oh my goodness. Forgot to hold. He landed. Wait, would the combo really not be successful if the enemy landed? Shit, I see people land all the time. Like, I land all the time when I get hit by that combo and it still continues. So I'm surprised to see that as like, oh no, they have to stay in the air. Maybe this game is just being extra strict to make sure that you... Um, get it into your head. Who knows? I think the hardest character right now... Out of all the characters I practiced with, the hardest character to learn was Lee. Oh my god. Learning Lee? Nah, nah. Compared to that, whoring is a cakewalk. For fuck's sakes. I genuinely think at some point, Lee might be the hardest character to learn in the game. Or maybe Zhao Yu. I have to think about that one. Out of all the ca characters I've like done combo challenges for and stuff like that, yeah, Lee was definitely the hardest one. God damn it. God damn it. One, two, three, four. Why? Why? Do I. Ha oh, I have to touch the ground first because I'm doing it while I'm in midair. Right? Right. That has to be it. One, two, three, four. You're gonna piss me off, game. Like, at this point, I don't even need to look at the chart. I know the combo. It's like, um... And then forward, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I hold it. And then you press it. One, two, three, four. Upwards. X, circle, X. Like, I know this. Too late. 
Oh, it was on time actually. But I'm just not holding. That's my okay. One, two, three, four. You're gonna piss me off, Horang. You're gonna piss me off, Horang. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Fine. <laughs> You're testing my patience, Horang. God damn it. Like, I literally was the last button. One, two, three, four. Pouring! 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. I need to get back to my rank. Can you hurry up and do my combo already? Okay. Don't even know how that move came out. Don't know how that move came out. One, two, three, four. Thank you! Finally! Oh, yeah. Oh, you switched dance. Okay. So all I need to do is press R2 for that one. Oh, it's saying either or. Okay. Do I have to wait for them to land? No, I don't. Okay, I don't have to wait for them to land. Because I was gonna wonder, I was like, what's the point of launching them so high up? Also, why do you launch them so high up? Cheering right stance. X circle. Okay. Huh, okay, 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 okay. X circle? Oh, okay. Just wanted to see the move. Am I, am I tweaking? What? So does that mean like during this dance? This is right stance. Okay, this is the one move that I will say is probably difficult because it confuses me. The fuck you mean during right stance X circle? Hmm. My fault. Okay, so the moment I stand switch, X circle. Alright. Oh! Okay, never mind. I thought I got it. I didn't have it. I think this is the only move in his skill set that actually leaves me like slightly uh, perplexed. As a result, I would say Huaring is closer closer to the easier side. No, I'd say he's an intermediate intermediate difficulty. That's what I'd put him as. Yeah, I could be wrong, but that's how I feel about Huaring right now. Pouring feels intermediate difficulty. He's not hard. He's not easy. He's like, he has his moments. How is this? Come 
Hmm. Corny racism. Okay. All right, bet, 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 bet. Interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah. Now I see how I feel about Huaring. Do I like him? I've never hated Huaring. He's just annoying to go up against sometimes. Sometimes. But overall, I don't think I really hate Huaring. I don't. Like, there are other characters that I hate, like Jin. Like, Jin used to be a cool character until I fought him. <laughs> until I fought him, then holy shit. Then I realized I understand why 10k hates him so much. I understand why 10k hates him so much. It's like, yeah, I know, learn the matchup. And I'm learning the matchup. Still fucking frustrating though. Looking forward to Eddie, man. Just like, fingers crossed, Eddie. Well, at least, at least I can't speak because I'm tired. It's like, what time? It's like four in the morning, five in the morning. At least make Eddie a mid-tier character. That's all I ask for. Make him mid-tier. That's all. Don't make him low-tier. Please do not put him in the tier with Leroy. I swear, if Eddie is low tier, it's racism. I'm calling racism. <laughs> I'm calling racism. I swear. So please make Eddie mid tier. That's that's all I need. That's all I need. Please, please, and Namco, please. Jin Kazama, when last have I fought someone like you? Do I even remember how to fight someone like you? Is that considered a low hit or a mid hit? She's switching into stances way too often. She's switching into stances way too often. Way too often. Which is punishing her in the long run. Hmm. Oh, smart. Going for the grab. Stop it. Because everyone goes for low hits when the health is low. When the health is low, expect the low. 
<laughs> when the health is low, expect the low. Although this isn't always the case, obviously. But it is the case most of the time. When your health is low, expect a low. Alright, give me a quick second. I'm going to take a little pee break. Right, I am back. I have returned. My earphones are in a weird position. Uh, -da 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 -da. Na -na 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 -na. I want you. I want money. I don't need you. I want money. Yeah. Somebody made a whole Google Doc. Tekken String Theory Database Workstation. Oh, and this is for every character. Hmm. That's fascinating. I'm probably not gonna study it. Because I don't like the number notation. Obviously, number notation is easier. It's like, it's like musical notes, right? It's so that everybody can understand. I still don't like them. <laughs> Personally, I, I'm not a fan of um, number notations. I prefer button notations. So whenever I see like the back forward, BF, whatever, all that stuff, perfectly fine for me. It's when it's like one, two, three, four. Because I know it's like one... One, two, three, four. I don't know why it's like that. Where X is three and circle is four. I don't know why it's like that. But hey, one, two, three, four. I get it. But I still don't like using it. It's like, it's something I understand, but I just don't like. I wonder. Oh yeah, I remember. I can't do a 10 hit combo after this. Because their body immediately becomes like... Paperweight. Ah, it's this Asuka that I fought before. John 13... John 3.16. The Nobara Kugas. Didn't she beat me last time? I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she beat me the last time. Oof, god damn. Okay. I thought she was minus on that. So I thought a regular jab would work. That's a low grab. Good to know. What's the point of a, ca a parry? If you could just...
Like, what's the point of a parry if the parry can just be bypassed? She knows me too well. That's the problem. She knows me far too well. Okay, good shit. She knows me well, but I don't know how well. I, I truly don't know how well she knows me. God damn. I don't know, I had a f weird feeling that she was baiting out a rage art. <sighs> I got back to the rank I was, so I'm probably gonna end the live stream here and we'll try again tomorrow. Well, that said, I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can always be notified every single time I live stream, which is every single day. Take care of yourself. Drink water. Oh, be ever wonderful, and I'll see you all tomorrow, alright? Peace, y'all. Actually, I'll let you guys see the rest of the fight. Stop it. Yeah, I'll let you guys see the rest of the fight. God damn. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell did she just hit me with? I fucked up my combo. I fucked up my combo. That was supposed to be a whole combo right there. God damn. Okay, fair enough, fair enough.
Okay, didn't know you had a launcher like that. Hello. What? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. That's not a heat smash. So why did it, like... The fuck? Oh, hers came out faster than mine. I guess I was still recovering. I don't know what kind of sidestep she is. Okay. Uh... Stop it. No, bro, no, bro. How do I keep getting grabbed by that? I don't know what hand she uses for that move. That was not a counter. What the fuck? That's a low grab. Oh, shit. No, no ways my combo. Okay. It's so like, no ways my combo fucked up. Is she low? Is she like... She's plus on those hits. There's no other way. She's plus on those hits. But hey, anyways. End the live stream there. I already did the outro. Bye.